Hardrox is in Boo's apartment. Hanging out in the sun. Hello, Hydrox. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Boo. How are you? Boo was on free roam all night. And Boo slept on my bed all night. Right, Boo? You slept right next to me the whole night. Right? You were comfortable? Comfortable? Okay, want some breakfast? So Boo did not like Grandma's chicken soup at all. He looks like he didn't eat any of it. And um, he ate most of his dinner. He left some of the turkey. He left some of the primal raw turkey nugget. Boo has been a very nice boy lately. He's been on his best behavior. Right, Boo? But there have also been gates between him and the other cats, so. This is Boo's breakfast. He's getting the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Bites. He's getting his herbs. He's getting a little bit of the powdered wheatgrass. And because he's been such a good boy, he's been getting some crunchies. I've tried to put them all around the edge so they stay crunchy. I just moved the gates and I let the other cats upstairs. The gates are now on Boo's room. Boo's not too happy with gates on his room, the same way that the other cats aren't too happy with the gates between upstairs and downstairs. Hey Simba, you okay? Are you hungry? Simba goes to Boo's room to say hello to him. I think Boo's in the litter box. Simba just hissed at him. Still is waiting for food. Simba's hungry too. Now, they both... I gave them dry food before I went to bed. I gave them three tablespoons of dry food, which is one tablespoon for each of them, so... You should not be starving. I'm getting their breakfast ready and I just heard another hiss. And this time it's Splash. He's growling too. Splash. Splash, what, would you like me to properly introduce you to Boo? That's okay, Boo. Simba and Splash are in the front window. Stella is hanging out by the door. It is 11 a.m. I just gave Hydrox a can of food. It's friskies, turkey, and giblets, and some water. It's really windy, oh my gosh. I just put brand new batteries in the undercover mouse, so. Simba and Boo can play with it. There's Simba and there's Boo. I don't know if you can see Boo through that top gate.
Stella's looking out the back door. Rita! Eleven forty-eight a.m. Still is a happy girl lounging in the sun. Hello, Stella. How are you today? You having a good day? Are you? Are you having a nice day, Stella? You don't want to play with the undercover mouse with the boys? Nope. You want to get some sun? Okay. I like to sit in the sun also. Okay. Still is nice and warm. She's toasty warm right now. Okay, go back to your sunbathing. You can go back to your sunbathing. Oh, Stella's afraid of these shoes, remember? My shiny glitter sneakers. Okay, Stella. I'll take the shiny shoes away. Do you guys see Simba? He's halfway down the steps. They probably want dry food right now. Stella's a happy girl. Happy Stella. Stella. They say that when you rub the tips of their ears, it can be very calming and soothing. It's about 12.15 right now. I just came outside to put something in the garage and look, it's Hydrox. Hydrox is in Boo's apartment, hanging out in the sun. Hello, Hydrox. How are you, Hydrox? You be a good boy today? Yeah. Do you like it over there? Did you eat your food? It is after 8 p.m. I just got home. And the cats are getting little appetizers. Because I want to give them rescue remedy and also adrenal drops. And let's see if they eat these. Hopefully, each one will eat one. Come on. Go ahead. So neither Stella nor Simba want any, which is weird. But Splash is eating it, which is good. So he'll get rescue remedy and also adrenal, and that's fine. I don't put a full dose on any of the little appetizers. 
I only put a partial dose in case something like this happens. Their dinner today is their standard dinner, which is one of the primal raw turkey nuggets and a quarter cup each of the Instinct raw chicken bites. Boo also has some spring water. What I think I've realized is that if I use filtered water, like tap water that has been filtered, Boo doesn't like it as much and he doesn't eat as much as when I use um, a certain bottled spring water. Um, so that's what I've been doing. He's been eating better. Hello, Boo. Boo says hello by rubbing up against his arch. Boo, you're a very smart boy, you know that? Boo, do you know you're a very smart boy? Yeah, you know that, right? Boo, you're a smart boy. You're a very good boy, too. You're very well behaved, except for when you jump on other cats. And I know you enjoy that. I know you think it's fun, but the other cats don't think it's fun, boo. Okay? You're a very good boy, and I know you like to play with them. But if you can show me that you're not going to jump on them, then I could trust you more, okay? It is 10.36 p.m. I'm in the other room with Boo. And I just keep hearing a cat jumping on these gates and then jumping off the gates. It's obviously Simba. He's trying to get over the gates. He wants to come over here. But... After uh, Boo lunged at him the other day, I just want more gate time between them. I feel like they just need more exposure to each other through the gates. And it's late, and I'm tired, and I just don't feel like dealing with drama today. All right, Simba? Be a good boy, okay? Boo was in his room all day. He was in his room all day with the gates on the door. You could be downstairs for a little while. You guys have a lot of room downstairs, okay? It's not like a little room. You guys have a lot of room. And you could play with your mommy and you could play with Splash. Yep. You could play with both of them. Simba, you could be a good boy, okay? Yeah, you could be a good boy. I know you want to play with Boo, but you could play with Boo maybe tomorrow, okay? Okay, Simba? You'd be a good boy. You could go downstairs and play with your mommy and your brother. It's okay. You're okay. You didn't do anything wrong. You didn't do anything wrong, Simba, okay? You're not being punished. You're a good boy. You're a good boy, Simba. I finally got more batteries for this little bug toy so I put a new battery in it and I put it in the circuit and Boo just got it out Boo that was not even a minute Boo it wasn't even a minute I figure I'll put the bug in the circuit, and that'll keep Boo entertained for a little while. He'll get other things done. It was not even a minute. Don't eat it. I put it back in. He's going to get it out. He'll get it out in like 10 seconds. Simba was just climbing the gates again. Simba! Simba! 
I'm gonna shut the door, okay? I'm gonna shut the door, okay? Shut the door. Okay, Boo is freaking out right now. He's like totally scared. His tail is huge. He's very upset. Oh my gosh, look at him. Oh my gosh, he was playing on the rug and then I just took out the black cat pillow that I bought today. And he's really not happy with it. Right now he's staring at it. Let me try to show it to you guys. This is the pillow that I bought today. It's like a life-size black cat pillow. It's super soft. I think it looks like Boo. Boo must think it looks pretty real also because he's petrified of it. 12.50 a.m. Stella was laying in her basket. She loves her basket. Splash is on the ottoman. I just moved the gates from the door between the upstairs and downstairs to the door to Boo's room. Now the cats have free roam. Boo had free roam all last night. The cats have free roam all tonight. I just gave them some of the bench and field treats. And uh, now they're having some dry food. And whenever I put dry food out, Stella and Simba just attack it. Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Simba. Good morning, Boo. Good morning, Stella. Stella slept on the dining room chairs again. Good morning, Splash. Splash is looking in Boo's door. But at least Splash is not growling. This is the second night that Boo's had gates in his door. I'm alternating nights between gates in Boo's door and gates in the door between the upstairs and downstairs. And uh, the last time the gate was in the door, Splash was spending a lot of time just sitting here growling at Boo. He's not growling now. He's letting me pet him. He's letting me pet him near Boo's door. I took the cat wand out to play with them, and Simba's just hugging it. Meanwhile, it's after 9 a.m., and I'm having a very late start to my day, but I was up until 3 o'clock in the morning, like after 3 o'clock in the morning, so. I'm just going to be really tired all day. Simba doesn't want to let it go. <laughs> let it go, Simba. Let other people have a chance to play with it. See, they're getting along really nicely now. Oh my god, look. Look. Boo and the two boys are all playing with the same toy under the door. The garbage truck's outside, and then the cats are scared.
Okay, now they're all back. I think Splash is curious about Boo. Look at Splash in, like, play position over there. Stella stayed in the kitchen by the food. Stella, you hungry? You wanna eat? Oh my god, these cats are so crazy. So I just came down the steps, and I don't know where Splash was, like, I have no idea. Maybe in the litter boxes or something. So he comes flying like out this way and um, I mean flying like he was like scared like something was chasing him and Stella and Simba were coming down the stairs at the time and they got freaked out so they went flying up the stairs I don't know what that was about Simba come on we're eating you ready for breakfast Stella I just gave Boo some crunchies in the kitchen because he's a very good boy it was maybe half a tablespoon he ate all of his dinner, and his breakfast is the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Bites with his herbs, and I just realized I forgot to put water in it. I think it's like 10, 15 a.m., and uh, I just came into the kitchen, and Boo was kind of like laying by this gate, like a Boo loaf, and Stella was looking out the back door, and look at them now. They're here with each other. Stella's not growling. Stella's not hissing. There's a gate between them, of course. But this is what I want. I want them to just, like, hang out with each other on both sides of the gate. I think that would be a good thing. I'm going to go get that cat charmer toy and see if Stella wants to play under the gate. Stella, look, I have a toy. Is she going to play? Is she going to move? Because Boo's here now. They're both playing with the same toy. I mean, it's a long toy, but they both play with the same toy. Well, oh, Boo just got scared. He's scared of Stella. It is 11.49 a.m. Right now, I'm going outside to feed Hydrax. I just took some garbage outside, and I saw him. He looked like he was coming out of the little shelter that is next to the driveway. And then he walked into uh, the patio area and he almost walked uh, right up to the back door. But then he, when he saw I was coming in the back door, um, he went down into the bushes. So I'm going to give him this can. This is the Trader Joe's turkey and giblets. And here's Hydrox. He started walking towards me. Hello, Hydrox. Are you hungry? Don't you have dry food in the feeder? You don't have any dry food? Hi, Jux. What happened to the dry food in the feeder? You don't want to eat it? Yesterday was very windy and there are leaves in the water. I just gave Hydrox the whole can of food and a bunch of fresh water. Stella's watching me and Simba's watching me and Boo's watching me. Hydrox, go eat your food. Go ahead, go eat. Go eat your food, go ahead. You could eat, look at this, while I'm still out here. He's not even waiting for me to go inside. Okay, guys, smile. Smile at the camera. I'm just about to set up today's live stream. It's Stella's Scratch and Roll a Go Go. The two of them were sitting on the Scratch and Rolls facing each other. It is 7 18 p.m. I just got home about five minutes ago. And Boo has been on free roam all day. And the cats were gated downstairs. And they pretty much slept all day. I have a live stream going on downstairs. Today was the first live stream downstairs ever. And the hard part is that um, the live stream camera only shows a small portion of the room that I have designated as like the cat's playground area. And of course the cats don't spend a whole lot of time in front of the camera. So, um, that's the difficulty down there. 
versus Boo's room um, where he's kind of confined to a smaller area and it's easier to keep him on camera. And right now the cats are on free roam. Splash and Stella are downstairs waiting to eat and of course Simba comes right upstairs and he's looking at Boo through the gate. So I need to feed the other cats and then um, spend some time with them, spend some time with Boo. There's just, there's, I need to do, they also need to open their advent presents. Um, they need to open yesterday's present and today's present. Hello, Splashy. Hello, Stella. How are you? Did you guys have a nice day today? Did you? And there's Flash. They're all hanging out. Getting ready to eat. Today the cats are getting their standard dinner, which is the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Chicken Bites and also the Primal Raw Turkey Nuggets. They are getting some Rescue Remedy Drops. They're also getting some Adrenal Formula Drops. To keep everyone calm and stress-free. It is time to open up the advent presents from yesterday and today because I'm a day behind. But that always happens. Boo's fur is so soft, like ridiculously soft. This is one of the Cadet boxes. And um, I did what they said and I cut like this hole in it and I put one of the uh, Zebedee's catnip mice in it. I put Boo's catnip mice in it, and uh, he had a great time playing with this, getting the mouse out of it. And uh, I don't know where the mouse is now. But uh, let's open the advent presents. Okay, Boo, ready? Wanna open it? We're gonna open them? We'll do them in numerical order. So this will be day seven. What did they get? What did they get with day seven? What'd you get, Boo? What is it? What is it, Boo? Oh, look. It is a holiday magic laser toy. It's like they're a Halloween laser toy, but this is a Christmas laser toy. It makes bells, snowmen, Christmas trees, candy canes, and a star. Do you like that, Boo? We haven't played with a laser pointer in a long time. That'll be fun to play with, right? You want to play with that? Okay. Okay. And then here's the gift bag for day eight. What is this, Boo? What is it? What do we have here, Boo? What is it? You want to open it? And open it, Boo. It looks like treats. What are these? These are my little lion Captain Cod recipe made with over 30% real cod. Soft, meaty cat treats, grain free, no corn, no wheat, no soy, under two calories per treat, made in the USA. It says, soft and meaty and packed with protein, my little lion cat treats are fit for a king. Made with over 30% real cod. Now that statement kind of scares me because it says made with over 30% real cod. All I think is, well, what's the other 70%? Is it fake cod? It says 100% grain free, under two calories per treat, taste cats love. Okay, let's look at the ingredients. It's cod, sweet potatoes, vegetable glycerin, natural flavor, brewer's dried yeast, gelatin, pumpkin, fish meal, fish oil, beet flour, salt. It says preservatives and uh, canola, lecithin, and rosemary extract. So let's see if Boo likes these. So this is what they look like. They're just 
little soft dark rectangle treats boo you don't like them it's a treat eat it you don't like them boo you don't like your treats that's for you eat it boo's getting better at not swatting my hand when i give him treats like he used to scratch me all the time and swat at me you don't want them you don't want the treats, boo? Here, you want this one? They're all the same. You want it? Nope. Oh, see? I spoke too soon. You don't want it? You don't like the treats, boo? You don't like the treats? Here. Boo has gotten way more gentle. In the past, like when he used to just like totally swipe at me. Did you see what he just did? He actually just kind of takes my hand. He doesn't take his uh, claws out or anything. And he just kind of like puts his hands around my hand and directs it where he wants it. Okay. Here, want these? Okay, I just opened up the toy, put the batteries in. It comes with three batteries, and I turned it on. And uh, this one is the star. We want to play with the star? This one is a snowman. This one is candy canes. Can you guys see the candy canes? It's like two candy canes. This one is a bell. I like the bell. Oh, it looks nice on Boo. Doesn't the red look really nice on his fur? This last one should be a Christmas tree. See the Christmas tree? See, these cats are too smart and they look at the light, but then they look to see where the light's coming from. And they're not supposed to be staring at a laser. It is about 8.36 p.m. right now. And uh, the downstairs cats are going to try the new treats. And we're gonna see if they like them so far they're smelling them like they would like the treats but we won't know until they try them where's splash splash now at the same time i do have this live stream camera going it's been on the cats downstairs today and they were just playing with their laser pointer on the camera and now uh let's see if we could get them to eat these treats uh, on both cameras at the same time Stella, you want some treats? Stella. Stella. Want some treats? Okay, here's Simba. There's his treat. Is he going to eat it? And I just gave Stella her treat also. Are they going to eat these? I think Simba ate his. Stella going to eat hers? Where's Splash? He's missing out. Oh, they both ate them. Look at that. They like their treats. One for you, Simba. One for you, Stella. One for you, Simba. Oh, sorry. Pooh's banging on the uh, upstairs door right now. Stella, eat it. You're going to eat it? You're not going to eat it because you're nervous? Simba will eat it. If you don't eat it, Simba's going to eat it. The door's shut. Boo's not going to come down and jump on you. Boo's getting a bad reputation for jumping on cats. It looks like there's still treats in Stella's snacky mouse. 
Okay, so Simba approves of these treats. Stella's eating these treats also. I don't know where Splash is. Both Simba and Stella are hanging out on the scratch and roll at the same time with the arch between them. I'm thinking maybe I need to bring that third scratch and roll down so Splash has a chair to sit on at the same time. Stella is like right on top of the camera. She's watching the live stream as she's on the camera. She's watching the live stream on my phone as she's watching, as she's in front of the camera. And Simba's watching the whole thing also. This is so funny, oh my gosh. I need like monitors for Stella to watch herself. Stella. Stella, you're watching yourself on the camera? You want me to put it on bigger screen? Here, you want a treat? Here's a treat. Can I put it on bigger screen for you? Stella. Here. You guys gonna watch yourself on the screen? Wanna watch yourself? That's better. Okay, I just ended the live stream and uh, here's Splash under the mini trampoline. And I'm giving him some treats. And you can actually see Splash. And I just want to point out the difference between this camera, which is the Canon G7X Mark II. I love this camera. And the webcam that I was using. If you were on the live stream, when I tried to show you Splash under the mini trampoline, you could not see him at all. Um, all you saw was darkness because that's just the nature of the webcams. The webcam that I'm using is the Logitech C922. It's like one of the best webcams you could get. And um, they're just nowhere near as good as these Canon G7Xs. So this is probably the best camera that I've ever used for like low light shooting. Stella sitting in her little box. Hello, Stella. Stella, are you relaxing in your box? Are you? Ten oh six p.m. Boo has decided that he needs to sit next to me on the couch and groom himself because he needs to look prettier than he already is. Can you see Simba? See Simba under the tree? Hello Simba! You being a good boy? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 8.10 a.m. Simba has been climbing the gates and jumping down off of them. And once again, I was up late last night. I didn't get to bed till like way after 2 a.m. So I would really like to get some sleep today. Right, Boo? Hey, Simba. Did you see that? He just rubbed up on the gates. I would like to let Simba out and Boo out together on free roam again for a while today. But not right now. I need to at least start my day without drama. 8.44 a.m. Boo was on free roam all night. He slept on the bed for several hours. And then he got up this morning. He likes to look out the windows. Right now he's playing on this rug. The play rug. Boo's a very good boy, right, Boo? Boo's a nice boy, right, Boo? Simba 
So I am going to give them all their breakfast and then I have to go get a few errands done today and hopefully this afternoon um, I can work on integrating them again. Right, boo? You're going to keep your feet on the ground and not jump on top of other cats, right? Right? Not jump. Boo ate all of his dinner last night. I doubt you guys could see it because it's very light, but it's snowing right now. It's like very light flurries, like super light flurries. I want to show you what I have for the bottom of my Christmas tree. This um, big round flat thing is what we had on the bottom of our Christmas tree when I was growing up and it kept the tree from tipping over um, when the cats used to climb the tree and uh, it worked really really well. We had it on an artificial tree um, which is different than a real tree and I plan on putting it on a real tree. So this is my tree base that I've been using for years. I actually got this on clearance at Kmart. There was a Kmart around here going out of business and uh, I got this for like, I think it was like three or four dollars and that was a great, great deal. Um, and this is a easy watering tree sand. Basically it has this big reservoir um, to put water in and uh, it works really well and it is a big sturdy Christmas tree base and then there are a bunch of really sturdy uh, kind of like twist ties holding this onto this base now when we used it we used a different stand um, we used the stand with like kind of like the uh, skinny metal legs because it was only an artificial tree we did not have to water it um, so uh, that's the difference. I had to like reset this up for this new stand. And this is what it says on the bottom. It says Tree Master, the smart new way to prevent Christmas trees from tipping. Christmas tree stand base. One attaches easily to most tree stands. Two, tree can be trimmed in middle of room then slid easily into its desired position and rotated to show its best exposure. Reusable year after year. Clean, non-staining, splinter free. Protects carpet from damage by metal tree stand legs and small overspills of water. And then it shows you how to attach it. And I mean, this just looks old, doesn't it? It was purchased at Harrow's. It was $15.99 when it was purchased. And I want to say this is from the mid to late 80s. 923 AM. Simba is looking out of the front window. Splash is looking out of the side window. Boo is looking out of his window. Well, he was. But then he sees me and he wants to say hello. Hello, Boo. And here's Stella. She was on top of the cat tree downstairs. But when she saw me, she got up. Or I should say she came down off of the cat tree. They already had their breakfast. Well, good girl, Stella. You could come upstairs. I think they just all have their favorite windows to look out of them. Stella Light's looking out the back window. Maybe because she can see Hydrox there. A lot of times what they do is when they hear me coming down these steps, for whatever reason, they come running because they think I might be giving them treats or food. 9.52 a.m. It's starting to snow a little bit heavier. Okay, I'm outside and I just gave Hydrox a can of Frisky's turkey and giblets dinner. I gave him some water and I saw him come out of the heated cat house and he was sitting next to it. And then all of a sudden as I was filling this, I heard a meow. Look, he's only maybe three feet away from me. He came to greet me. Hey Hydrox, are you hungry? Stay nice and warm in the heated cat house, okay? Yeah, that's just for you, okay? I'm gonna give you some food. Okay, I put his food under the table so now he can eat it. That 
was incredibly huge progress for Ajax. Like, amazing what he just did. The fact that he saw me putting food out and then he moved from where he was sitting next to the cat shelter closer to me under the table and meowed hello at me. And then when I was talking to him, he was meowing back to me. That is so huge for Hydrox. We're not supposed to get much snow at all, only about one to three inches, so hopefully there won't be any need for a snow blower. But if there is, I need to make sure that those extension cords are somewhere where the snow blower is not going to get caught up in them. Not that that part of the patio would need to um, be cleared off. I really just focus on the active walkways and that half of the patio really does not have any active walkways right now. And it's not like we're supposed to get like a foot or two of snow right now. It's only supposed to be a few inches. It is 12 noon. I am so excited because the Christmas tree is here. It's not coming inside yet. Uh, I have to move some stuff around, make room for it. And uh, it will be inside this afternoon in a few hours. Right now it's gonna relax in the car. It smells so good. It is 2.55 p.m. and I've just cleared out this space in my living room to put the Christmas tree this year. That outlet that you see there has the Pet Remedy plug-in, which will stay in the outlet for now. And um, this is where I'm going to put the tree. The first thing I put down is an old tablecloth. Um, and then I put the tree base on the tablecloth and then I put a tree skirt over the tree base. So this is the tablecloth. And this year, this is the tree base. Normally I just have this as the base, but this year I have the tree master on the bottom, hopefully to keep the tree from toppling over. Now this entire base, um, this base with uh, this tree master, it does seem pretty sturdy. And the tree that I have this year is not huge at all. Here is the tree after it has been put in the base. I'm so happy because I love having a live tree inside. I love how it smells, I love how it looks. So this is the cute little tree. From the bottom of the tree all the way up to that very, very top tip is like exactly six feet. Um, so it's not a terribly big tree at all. Look at this. Simba's gonna come and smell it. I think the cats are really going to like it because it's like bringing a bit of nature inside. The one thing I don't want them to do is I'm going to fill up the base with water. I'm not gonna put any tree food or anything like that. I'm just putting plain water. I love this tree, it is so cute. This is my beautiful tree skirt that I normally use every year. It's a shiny aqua color and it has lots of sparkly sequins on it and I just really love how this looks but I don't think this is going to withstand cats like if the cats lay on this or scratch it it's really gonna get torn up and um, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is instead of buying a new one I think I'm just going to flip this over and use it on the wrong side. The other side is just like plain aqua material. And I think I'm just going to do it this way. Um, that way, if the cats lay on it or scratch it or anything, it should not affect the other side. It is padded. It does have like a padding in it. Okay, and there we have it with the tree skirt under the tree. I put the tree skirt up above that base to cover as much of the water area as possible to keep the cats out of it. I also tucked that plaid tablecloth uh, under the edges of this tree skirt. It looks neater and it gives it a bit fuller appearance. And right now I'm happy with this. So we'll see what happens. I am not decorating this today. I'm just gonna let it sit here as a plain tree for at least a day, maybe two or three days, just for the cats to get used to it being here before I put any decorations on it. 
I just put all of this week's mail under the tree. Okay, there goes Boo looking at the tree. He's smelling it. But he doesn't really care about it. I mean, these cats lived outside with trees, so to them, they're just like, oh, it's a tree. Which is very different from a cat that has been an indoor-only cat pretty much its entire life. Then they're like, oh, what is this brand new thing? I just put together this round cat it circuit and this other toy that they have fits perfectly inside of it. So I think that's cool. I'm just trying to organize a lot of these toys and cat things because I need to make room. Okay, I just made the second cat it track. This one is all with um, these curved pieces. This one has the straightaways in it. The scratch and roll works really well on this one also. So. I think I'm going to take this one downstairs. I'll leave this one up here and I'll take the um, figure eight downstairs. Right now it is sometime after 4 p.m. I want to say it's around 4.15. It just feels like it's around 4.15. And this is what the feeding station looks like. There's probably four inches of snow on it. And it is supposed to continue snowing all night. Now the original forecast was for one to three inches. And we have surpassed that, so. The feeder was empty. So I just put in like a half cup of dry food just in case Hydrox wants it. There are no birds out right now, so hopefully he'll get the food to himself. The water is not frozen, so that's a good thing. That kitty cafe definitely works. There's Hydrox under the house in his apartment. It's now Hydrox's apartment. And I just watched him come out of that side entrance of the heated cat house to the left of him is the vestibule and I just watched him walk out of the vestibule so it's nice to know that Hydrox has a nice little heated house to hang out in. There's Hydrox eating his food. I'm glad I put it out there. It's just about to get dark in I would say 15 or 20 minutes. So it's a good time for him to eat and then he could go rest and just kind of get cozy and sleep all night, hopefully in that little house. Last year at this time, all of the cats were living outside. Stella, Splash, and Simba would come in occasionally and I would try to get them in when I saw snow. So if I saw snow like this last year, I would keep them inside for like a day or two until the snow had passed and then I might let them back out. So, and Boo, he was always out. He was off doing his thing. I remember one time, I think it was in January because the other cats had already moved inside and it was snowing like this, but it was more snow than this. And I went out to check the automatic feeder or to put some dry food in it. And Boo came out of nowhere and he came up to eat like while I was filling the feeder and he meowed at me. So um, that was like one of the only times last winter that I saw Boo. And then I saw him a few times in some of the shelters uh, around the patio area, around the yard. And of course there are a few places um, that the cats know to hang out, like in an old woodshed around here and in um, a broken foundation of a house. I've seen cats go in and out of certain little places. They're, you know, they're very resourceful. They know how to take care of themselves. So I'm sure Boo's going to be very happy to be warm and comfy all winter. The other thing we need to think about is like, what if I was not doing this? What if I did not have a heated cat shelter outside for Hydrox? Where would he be hanging out right now? What would he be doing? I mean, he's obviously been out there for years without this heated shelter, but where would Boo be right now? Where would Stella and the kittens be right now?
we really need to get more people to stop being afraid of feral cats and to stop thinking all kinds of false information about feral cats. Feral cats are just cats that were born and raised in nature by other cats. They're not socialized with humans, so they need to learn how to interact with us. They're fully capable of learning how to do that. They're not these wild, untamable, ferocious creatures that many people in this world would like us to believe that they are. These are my snow boots, and Boo is afraid of them. It is day nine on the advent calendar for the cats. Boo's ready to open their gift bag. What did you get, Boo? What do you think it is? Are you excited? You want to pose with the gift bag? What'd you get, Boo? What do you think you got? Okay, let's open the bag. You want to open the bag? You want to open it? Yeah, you can open it. You don't want to open it? You just want to watch? Okay. You could just watch. What is it? What is it, Boo? What is it, Boo? Look, it's food. What kind of food did you get? And pose with the food? Okay. It is Natural Balance Wild Pursuit. This says turkey, chicken, and guinea fowl formula, high protein, grain free. That's interesting. And what's in it? We have turkey, turkey broth, chicken liver, chicken, brewer's yeast, pea protein, guinea fowl, chicken meal, Manhattan oil, tapioca starch, dicalcium phosphate, dried garbanzo beans, calcium carbonate, dried peas, and a whole bunch of vitamins, guar gum, dried egg, then a whole bunch of minerals, pea fiber, dried apples, dried cranberries, dried blueberries, dried kelp, dried zucchini, taurine, and carrageenan. So I like that there's a bunch of dried uh, fruits and veggies at the end. Let's see if the cats like this. Right now it's about 7.50 p.m. It's a little later than they've normally been having dinner, but they had breakfast later today, so... Um, Let's see if they like this. So this is what it looks like. It's a very pretty pate, and I'm going to give Boo his portion. Boo seems to like it. Now because they are getting this extra appetizer. They're not going to be getting the normal amount of crunchies that they would get later tonight. I think he might eat the whole thing. It's nice to see so many different brands and varieties of quality cat food on the market. I'm happy that they don't have a bunch of byproducts in the ingredients. Another thing that I did today was I went to PetSmart and I got a fresh container of wheatgrass. And I know I have the uh, Grow Your Own Wheatgrass kits. I just have not had a chance to assemble one of those yet and I was really happy um, to see this wheatgrass for several reasons. I was there the other day and they had two containers of very sickly looking wheatgrass and I didn't buy them because they looked like they only had a few days left and these look like they easily have two weeks left. The first thing, the uh, tops have not been cut there are no blunt edges here so this is all like natural growth the second thing is see how short the wheatgrass is so 
that also indicates a new growth. So potentially um, this has a few more inches to grow and potentially this could last longer than two weeks, which would be great. So I'm actually going to um, slice them off and put this on Boo's dinner. It looks like Stella likes it. It looks like Simon does not like it. Splash has not tried it yet. Guys, why aren't you eating your food? Go eat your food. Splash, eat your food. Splash, eat your food. Considering the fact that dinner is at a later hour today, like, I would think that they would be more hungry than they are. Once I finish the 12 days of cat miss giveaways, I'll have more time to focus on integrating the cats. I did not realize how many hours a day doing those giveaways would take up. So once those are done, it frees up a good portion of time. It is 8.30 p.m. And I was just sitting on the other side of the room watching a YouTube video. And I heard, like, noise coming from the Christmas tree. And I said, one of the cats must be, like, playing around with the boxes underneath it. Or maybe a cat's trying to climb the tree. So I got up, and I'm looking at the tree, and I'm looking at the tree, and I'm hearing the noise but I'm not seeing any cats under the tree. And I'm like, what the hell is this? And it was the weirdest thing. And then eventually it stopped. And I sat here for several minutes waiting to see like a cat come out from the tree, but there's no cat in the tree. I just looked underneath it. There's nothing around it, like nothing around it. And it's just really, really weird because just a few nights ago, the same exact thing happened, but instead of where the tree is, I had like this small like entertainment unit and I had mail on top of it because it's right near the door. I would come in, put the mail on it. And um, the other night, the same thing happened. I was sitting, watching a YouTube video across the room. And it's weird because each time this happens, I'm watching a Community Cats YouTube video. And I don't know what's going on, but I'm watching a Community Cats YouTube video. And then all of a sudden I start hearing movement in this section of the room. And it's like someone is like rummaging through packages, which is why I thought like a cat was under here rummaging through packages. The other day it was like the same sound. And I got up and I looked and I did not see anything. At first I thought it was Boo the other day, but Boo was like on the complete opposite side of the room from where I heard the noise. And Boo even heard it because I have him on security footage looking toward the area where I was hearing the noise. And both of us were looking at it like, what the hell is going on? So it just happened again. And it's really weird. There's nothing that it could be causing it because there are no air vents in this part of the room. None. And if it was something being caused by an air vent or airflow, there's nothing that could cause it. Like, there are no vents. So, I'm just documenting this. This is, like, really strange. And, um, I don't know. It's really starting to freak me out. I mean, like... To hear stuff moving around and then to like look and be like, well, is it a cat? What's going on? Where's the cat? And then realize that there's nothing there. It's freaky. 9.41 p.m. Simba's poking around the bottom of the tree. Smelling the packages. He's looking for something. I don't know what he's looking for.
Simba is sitting under the Christmas tree with the packages. I don't know if you guys could see him. He's like way back there. Hey Simba, you like sitting under the tree? The cats that I grew up with used to love laying under the Christmas tree. They loved it. Can you see Simba? See Simba under the tree? Hello Simba. You're being a good boy. Good boy Simba. Look how cute he is. Simba, you're so cute. I don't know if you guys, um, so what's going on here is this is the Cadet circuit, and then this is the Boots and Barkley scratcher, and then this is the scratch and roll. So there's like three things going on here all at once. It's about about. Eleven fifty PM Simba's been trying to climb the gates. I can hear it from the other side of the house. And uh and then he just plops down on the uh, floor. I'm just waiting for the time where I just hear like a huge racket with one of the gates coming down. Hopefully not. Okay, that seemed pretty friendly, right? Ah! And there's the heated kitty cafe. I'm just about to put some food out for Hydrox. I'm approaching it and he's still here. Hello, Hydrox. 
Hello. You being a good boy today? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. 8.41 a.m. Boo slept on the bed. He had free room. He's been a good boy. My right, boop. Yeah, you've been a good boy. Nothing happened to the tree overnight. I hung a few gingerbread decorations on it. These are like little felt gingerbread cookies. I just wanted to see if the cats would try to get them. It stopped snowing and um, look at the cat prints. You see the cat prints? Some cat walked down my walkway. There are also cat prints all over the patio. They all come to this little area. Good morning, Stella. Good morning, Simba. You guys ready to eat? This is Boo's breakfast. This is Boo's food from dinner last night. So he did not eat his primal raw turkey. I don't know why. He had most of his instinct raw chicken and he ate his um, advent appetizer. This is the new thing. I put the wheatgrass down by the back door so they can have a view while they're eating. Maybe they'll feel like they're more outside in nature. They haven't had fresh wheatgrass in a while because I didn't have time to get more. And then when I had time to get more, the stores did not have any. It was really weird. But they had plenty of wheatgrass when I went yesterday. And they were like perfect. Like I consider this like perfect because they're, they're not grown yet. Um, they've never been cut on top. They're just really, really green. There's no yellow or brown and hopefully these will last a while. I did put a date on the container so I can kind of keep track. The last container that I bought, I put a date on it and I would say it lasted about 17 days, which is great because if I only had to buy wheatgrass twice a month, that's awesome. What would be even better is if I did not have to buy wheatgrass um, and I could start those grow my own kits, which I will be doing soon. It's just with all the holiday stuff going on, my house is kind of a disaster right now. There's like presents all over and I'm in the middle of wrapping stuff and a lot of craziness, so. Splash is looking like, what's going on? What's going on? But Splash never liked the grass. You guys like the grass, right? They love it. I've never found this grass to make any of these cats grow up. They have never had any negative issues from eating it. Did you like that? You guys like the grass? Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. I could hear Boo meowing in his room. I'm going to put the gates on Boo's room. He doesn't meow with the gates on. He meows with the door closed. But he doesn't meow with the gates on. These are the three Zebedee's catnip mice that the cats were playing with the other day. Um, this is, I think this is Simba's. And uh, this was Stella's, but that's the one that Stella really did some work on. And do you see how dark it is? When I looked at this this morning, I said, ew, what happened? Was something leaking? I honestly thought one of the herbal tincture bottles was leaking. And then I was like, oh no, it's the mice. It is 11.06 a.m. I just came outside to give Hydrox some food. And I remembered that I forgot my camera. 
So I went back inside to get my camera and I saw Hydrox coming out of the heated cat house. And he saw me and uh, he walked over to the food. And right now, I'm, I mean, can you see, there's the can of food and there's the um, pitcher on top and there's the heated kitty cafe. I'm just about to put some food out for Hydrox. I'm approaching it and he's still here. Hello, Hydrox. Hello. You being a good boy today? Hydrox, are you a boy or are you a girl? Are you a boy or a girl? You're a boy? How dare I ask you that question? Okay, look, he's just sitting here right near me. Are you hungry? Yes, I know you're hungry. I'm going to give you some food. I just want to see what he does when I talk to him how he responds. Hello, Hydrox. This is the uh, heated kitty cafe. This is by K&H Products. There is a link to this product in the description below this video. If you're in a similar situation where you're feeding outdoor cats and you want to keep their food and water from freezing, it works really, really well. Um, so here's the water. I'm just gonna dump this and put fresh water in and then put his food in here. I just picked up the bowl and I do feel warmth on the bowl. So it doesn't make it hot. It just, I would say it makes it like lukewarm, which when you're dealing with right now, it's like 32 degrees out, you know, feels quite a bit warmer. There's Hydrox. He's eating his food. I gave him a full can of the Friskies cat concoctions. This is salmon and chicken liver dinner. So I gave him a full can so he could eat as much as he wants. He does need extra calories in the winter to help him stay warm. This is Stella. She's been watching me. She loves laying in the sun by the back door. And there's Boo. Can you see Boo? It's really hard to see a black cat. I'm also zoomed in a lot, so if it looks shaky, that's why. It is 1.40 p.m. All of the cat food is gone. I don't know if Hydrox ate it. I don't know if the birds ate it. I don't know if it's a combination of things. At least all of the snow is melting off of the patio. And I don't really see a lot of cat tracks or um, animal tracks at all. It's about 4 p.m. right now and I figure let me go outside and give Hydrox some food before it starts getting dark and while the weather is not too bad. So um, I was emptying his water bowl in order to refill it with new water and I turn around and Hydrox is standing like right here standing right here looking at me. And I was only a few feet away from him. I was like, hi, Hydrox. And then he moved under the table. So he's obviously hungry, he's looking for food. There's Hydrox eating his food. I turned this Jackson Galaxy space station upside down. It's Sim is having a good time. There's some toys under here and they have these holes they could obviously like poke their paws in to get the toys out. And this ball also still goes around. It gives them a little extra stimulation to play with it this way versus the other way because it's something new for them. I've just been playing with Stella um, with the scratch and roll and this toy for, I don't know, maybe five to ten minutes, and that's what I want to try to do. I want to try to have more play sessions with them, even if they're shorter play sessions. Like, it's easier for me to say, okay, I'll play with you for five minutes, like, morning, afternoon, evening, night, than to be like, okay, well, let me put aside a whole half hour. I mean, sometimes it is possible because you start playing with them, and then the next thing you know, like, a half hour goes by, but... If I consciously say, okay, you know what, I'm going to spend about five minutes playing playing with Boo or playing with Stella, um, then I'm going to try to do that. Those are the two that are really the neediest. Like, Simba and Splash, I never really feel like, okay, I need to spend time playing with them because they play with each other because they've been brought up together, if that makes any sense. Maybe Stella and Boo would eventually play with each other, but... Those two are the ones that want my attention the most. I mean, Simba wants my attention sometimes, 
but usually it's Stella or Boo. Seven thirteen p.m. It seems that Simba likes to sit inside of this cadet circuit. He thinks it's the little cat seat. Stella does not want to eat her dinner. She wants to play instead. You guys remember those soccer balls that the cats got the other day? Yeah, I remember them too. I haven't seen them since. I have no idea where they are. But someday, when I have the chance to look under the furniture, maybe move some furniture around, I'll probably find them. I'll find a gold mine of cat toys. It is 11, 12 p.m. and the tree is like half put up right now. I mean the tree itself is put up but only like half of the decorations are on it because I could not find the ornament hangers today. You know those little metal things you use to hang ornaments. So all of the new shatterproof ornaments that I have could not be hung up because I cannot find the hanger. So hopefully tomorrow. Uh, but this will be a good test for the cats to see if they go after any of the ornaments. These are all ornaments um, that are shatterproof. Like they're not going to be broken by cats. And um, none of them have any sentimental value. None of them are old or anything. They're all just kind of new ornaments that I picked up over the past few years that I mean, I like, but if the cats ruin them, I don't really care. So, not that I think the cats are going to ruin them. The cats have been really good. Now, the one big difference is that the tree is normally put on a timer. And the tree lights normally go on uh, when it gets dark out and then shut off around 11 p.m. And I'm not putting them on a timer because I don't know if the cats are going to end up chewing on the wires. That's one thing I hear some people say that their cats like to chew on the wires and I don't want that happening. So the tree is only going to be lit uh, when someone is in the room to kind of make sure the cats are not chewing on it. Yeah, so the tree looks nice from inside, but it's not by a window, so no one outside can enjoy it. So there's a lot of differences this year. Oh, Boo picked his. He wants the yellow one. He better not think he's getting more than one because he's only getting one. The other cats are getting theirs. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. 9.10 a.m. I've been hearing growling. Can you hear that? I've been hearing hissing. It's been going on for a while. This morning, I just got up. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know why Splash likes to do this. He did this the other day, too. And every now and then I'll hear a boo meow in his room. Hey, Splash. Are you okay? Splash, you're okay. You like Boo. Oh, there's Boo. Hey, guys, look. Boo was right near the door. So, Boo and Splash, they were, like, sitting, like, inches away from each other on both sides of the door. Oh, that's so funny. I wish I would have gotten video of that. I just gave them their morning cat grass. And it was so funny because I was looking for Stella and I was um, yelling downstairs. I'm like, Stella, where are you? And um, I didn't see her there. So I said, oh, she probably slept on the dining room chairs again. So I walk over to the dining room and sure enough, there she was stretching. And it looked like she just climbed down from one of the chairs. And um, lately Stella's been sleeping on the dining room chairs. I don't know why. She did it a long time ago. Now she's doing it again. I guess she feels safe there. I guess they're really, really comfy. Well, they are really, really comfy chairs. And um, it's funny, they're made out of like a black velvet material. The problem with that is you can see like every little cat hair on it. So um, they get really messed up when the cats lay on them. So I keep towels on the bottom of the chairs, but the cats like to take the towels off the chairs before they lay on them. So in my mind, the chairs are pretty much just like ruined. This is the chair that Stella has been sleeping on, so I guess she's been a good girl and uh, hasn't been pulling the towels off. Unless I'm wrong, and unless she's been sleeping on the chair next to it. Yeah, it looks like she might have been sleeping on this chair. There's no towel on the bottom, but can you see all that cat hair on it? Yeah, lint rollers definitely come in handy. Look at this. Look at that. Yep, oh, that's a tree ornament. These are really cute uh, mushroom ornaments that I got at Ikea. I love these red and white mushrooms um, around the holiday times. I think they look really cute, but they're also like part of nature. Um, the real term for them is Amanita muscaria. They're actually like hallucinogenic mushrooms. I've never done mushrooms, so um, I can't speak from experience there. But if you look up Amanita muscaria mushrooms and Santa Claus, um, there's a lot of information that the entire Santa Claus myth could have been based around these mushrooms. And here's another one over here. So it looks like the cats favor these ornaments. Cats are eating their breakfast. It is the nature's variety instinct draw bites. With the rescue remedy, some adrenal drops, and I gave them a little Christmas rug. Since Boo is so good at getting the bug toy out of these cadet circuits, I just put a bunch of crunchies, I don't know if you can see them, crunchies, 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 in this cadet circuit. I want to see if I can get them out. Oh, he got one out. He could eat them if he gets them out. Boo, we got one out right here. We got a few out. Maybe I'll go back and eat them later. Oh no, there he goes. He's eating them now. Good boy. He ate all of last night's dinner. That's how Boo gets his crutches out. He just takes it apart. He's a strong cat. My mantle has just been decorated for Christmas this year. Well, I really leave it like this until about March. So I just call it my winter decorations. And um, I hung all five of the cat's Christmas stockings on it. The Christmas stockings will not be hung up until March, but the mantle itself will be because it is angels and gnomes and um, little houses and 
it's not as much Christmas as it is winter. Right now it is 11.39 a.m. and I just got sidetracked with a phone call for about an hour, but that was okay because it was someone that I haven't talked to in a long time. I want to document what happened while I was on the phone. So um, I opened this can of food for Hydrox and I filled up the container of water for Hydrox and then I turned my back and I was doing something else. Um, I don't know, I don't remember what I was doing, but I just left it here on the counter like this for literally like one minute. I walk back in the room and Boo is standing on this counter eating this food. The minute he saw me, he jumped off the counter. Like I did not even have to say anything. He knew that he doesn't belong on the counter. So he jumped off immediately. And what I did was I took this can of food and I put it on the ground and I let him eat a little bit of it because he must be really hungry if he's jumping on a counter eating this food from the can, but I don't understand because he had dry food this morning and he also had his raw food this morning. So I don't know what's going on with that. And um, anyway, yeah, not happy about that. 11.48 a.m. I just came outside to give Hydrox some food. He's getting some sun in his apartment. Hello, Hydrox. How are you, Hydrox? Are you being a good boy? I don't know what that like white furry thing is that I see in a pile of leaves behind him. I hope it's a toy and not like a dead mouse. But like I'm right here about five or six feet away from him. He's not running. He's just hanging out. This cat has it so good right now. Right, Hijax? You live in the luxury life? Luxury life, getting some sun. There is Hydrox's food. He's getting the rest of this can of Frisky's Ocean Whitefish and Tuna dinner. It is 8.15 p.m. right now. I just got home. And here's Hydrox, he just came out of his house to greet me. He's three for three today. He greeted me for breakfast. Then in the middle of the day when I gave him some food around, I think it was around 3 p.m. And then now, like 8 p.m., I just got back again. This is crazy. I just gave him half a can of this frisky salmon dinner. Hydrox is not eating his food. Maybe he's not hungry. I mean, he had two really good meals today. Maybe he's just coming out to say hello to me. This is Boo's dinner. He's getting one of the primal raw turkey nuggets and then his nature's variety instinct chicken bites. And I am going to leave the turkey nugget whole and see what he does. I wanna see if he eats it. I know the other cats don't like it when I do that, but maybe Boo does. Boo ate all of his breakfast except for a few of the little chicken bites. You like your arch? Do you? Okay, Boo. It is 9 p.m. And we are doing days 10 and 11 of the cat's advent calendar. Boo's all excited. Did you see him stretching in anticipation? Right, Boo? You excited? You excited? What's it gonna be? We're gonna do number 10 first, right? Okay, boo. This is from yesterday. I can never do an advent calendar on time. Like, it's impossible. Even when I've had my own advent calendars, I always end up sometimes days, if not like a week behind. So I'm actually trying to stay relatively up to date on this one. What'd you get, boo? What is it? What is it? What'd you get? What is it? It's cat play mice. It says pet tough, pet king. I don't know if there's any catnip on these, it doesn't say. Pet King cat toys are safe and fun for your pet. They stimulate exercise and keep your cat or kitten busy for hours. Let's see if the cats like these. Okay, that's what they look like. They're just little tiny mice. Oh, Boo picked his. He wants the yellow one. He better not think he's getting more than one because he's only getting one. The other cats are getting theirs. So I'm going to put these three back in the bag and bring them downstairs for the other cats. 
You gonna play with your mouse? Pooh, are you gonna play with your mouse? He's getting better with his toys. Did you notice that I can like touch a toy when it's near him and he doesn't try to claw me to death? Let's open day 11. This would be today's present. What did the cats get? Oh, this is bigger and this is heavier. Ooh, what'd you get, Boo? What is it? It is the Inaba Churu chicken recipe cat treat with added vitamin. Creamy puree, totally unique creamy treat. This is four tubes in here. It says tear, squeeze, and serve. You wanna try that? Wanna try a treat? Do you? Would you like to try the treats? Are you posing with them? Are you posing with your treats? You want to lay on them like a pillow? Use the treats as a pillow, boo? Do you? What's the matter? Did the mouse get you upset? Where did it go? Boo, would you like to try the churu? I gotta open it. I just tore it open and smelled it. It really smelled like chicken. Boo! Boo! and it smells super chickeny. Estella's sitting in her little plastic bed. Okay, let's see if the downstairs cats like their advent present. Sim is all ready. Right, Simba? Look, Simba, what did you get? You guys got mice. Want a mouse? Stella, you want to play with the mouse? She doesn't seem very interested. Splash, would you like a mouse? Here. They hear Boo at the door. Stella has decided she wants to chew on her mouse.
I feel like what I could do with this mouse is like um, punch a hole in the tail and put it on like their um, that fishing rod thing and then like drag it along and I think they're like a better Splash was just playing with his mouse Splash it's okay you could play with your mouse you could play with it Okay guys, do you want your treats? Do you want one? They're not meaty sticks. They're like liquid meaty sticks. They're meaty liquid. You want some meaty liquid? Do you? Okay, I just opened one. Stella has to come running over. <laughs> there it is. Is she going to eat it? Are you guys going to lick it? Are you going to eat it? You don't want that. They're curious about it. I'm going to go put this on their plate. Okay, I just squeezed one of the tubes out onto the plate. It looks like somebody's eating up. Splash is playing with the mouse on the other side of the room. Simba is eating. And Stella is rubbing up and down against the groomer. Don't you want that, Stella? It's on the plate. Simba likes it. Stella's looking. Stella's tasting. Simba ate almost all of it. Solo likes it too. Would you guys like another treat? One more? You guys want one more? Still is a happy girl. These things really smell like chicken, like roasted chicken. Simba, you want more? Okay, this last one I'm going to put away and then I'll give it to Splash some other day. <laughs> I am just getting home, and here's Hydrox hanging out on the black cat doormat by the back door. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. 8.24 a.m. Boo was on free roam last night. Good morning, Boo. This runner is now halfway up the wall. What'd you do, Boo? Boo did not like that churu treat at all. Looks like he didn't eat any of it. 
and he ate his instinct bites, but he did not touch the primal raw nugget. None of the cats like the nuggets when they're in nugget shape. Stella and Simba are eating wheatgrass in front of Boo's door. Boo's inside his room, and normally there'd be a gate on it, but I just took the gate off the other door between the upstairs and the downstairs, and the cats were ready to come up. So I put their wheatgrass in front of his door, and I did not expect Stella to be interested in it there, but she is. So, I just put the wheatgrass back in the kitchen. This is the cat it digger, and what I've been doing is I've been giving the downstairs cats their dry food in this, because I figure, you know, let them work a little bit for it, and there's no dry food at all. I had to take the track that was around the outside of it away because the dry food would get stuck in the little, there was like a crevice between this white part and then the track. But it seems to be working really well. Today the cats are getting Trader Joe's tuna for cats because I forgot to defrost the raw food. I went out and uh, did some Christmas shopping last night. I did not get home until after 9 p.m. and then I edited the daily video and before I knew it it was like midnight and I wanted to get a decent night's sleep so I forgot to defrost the food. But that's okay because they haven't had the tuna in a while. I'm not giving it to them once a week anymore. I'm basically saving it for occasions like this when I forget to defrost the food. Hello, Splash. Gonna eat your food? Gonna eat your food? Nice boy, Splash. You're a nice boy. Simba is claiming it as his. I think out of all of the cats, Stella loves this self-groomer the most. She uses it several times a day. I just gave him some dry food in this digger. They've definitely gotten the hang of it. I don't know what they put in this dry food, but it's like crack for cats. I mean, they love it. Boo loves the dry food. And Stella and Simba love the dry food. I hope they don't put flavor enhancers in it. Do you hear them purring? They're purring so loud. See, they figured out that they only have to move the crunchies from down in one of those holes onto the top of that white thing. They don't have to just like go from the hole to their mouth. They could just put it on the white thing. So I just gave them, that's about two tablespoons of crunchies in there. See how Stella does it? Meanwhile, Simba's just trying to eat it off of his paw. Boo should like the tuna. He's been craving canned food. So, he should eat that. 10.30 a.m. 
I just opened the back door and Hydrox was laying on the black cat doormat because then I just watched him walk to where you see him sitting now. So I'm just about to go outside to give him some food. It's been kind of yucky and rainy, but at least most of the snow is melted, which is great. And it is a little bit warmer. It's about 40 degrees out. So I'm gonna go give Hydrox a whole can of food. Today, Hydrox is getting the Trader Joe's ocean fish, salmon, and rice. He's also getting these NHV Multi Essentials. This is an herbal dietary supplement. It's basically a multivitamin for cats. I just took out the can of food and the pitcher of water, and Hydrox is sitting here talking to me. Hey, Hydrox. You want to eat? Would you like some food? This is huge for Hydrox. Guys, you have no idea how big this is for Hydrox. It's huge. Would you like some food? Yeah? Want some breakfast? Are you good boy, Hydrox? Do you like the heated shelter? I'm having flashbacks to when I used to come outside and give Boo food, and he used to meow at me like this. Look, look, he's just sitting down. Hey, Hydrox. There's no food in the bowl, and the water looks pretty clean, so it doesn't look like any raccoons got to it. I would like to check the automated feeder and just see what's going on with the dry food in there and make sure that there are no errors on it and it is dispensing but I don't want to do it now because it's gonna freak Hydrox out and he's gonna run away so I'm gonna to try to do that at some time that's like not a time where I'm feeding him Come here, Hydrox, you gonna eat? Come on, I'm giving you food. Come here. Come on. You're getting vitamins too. Come on. Come here. Come on, Hydrox. Want some food? Come on. Over here. Come here. Okay, I just put the whole can of food in the bowl, I give him fresh water, and I mean, this is a huge amount of interaction for Hydrox. He's still, he's still sitting on the patio, not too far away, maybe like eight feet away from me. So, progress, right? Okay, I just came inside and Hydrox walked over and he's eating his food. Good, I hope he eats as much as he wants. And hopefully no birds will get to it because the weather's a little weird today. It's like three minutes later and Hydrox is sitting here just like grooming himself. Meanwhile, he only ate like a little bit of the food. So this cat is not very hungry. He's starting to become a picky eater. 12.44 p.m. Stella's hanging out upstairs with Simba. Right now, Boo's door is open, but there are gates in it. So what's happening is that the cats are becoming more curious about him. And I believe that's why Stella's been upstairs today. She's been looking in his room pretty much like all morning. And of course, Splash and Simba um, have been near his door also. And no, Boo is not being kept in a cage. He loves his room. He's perfectly comfortable in his room. And he's incredibly happy and grateful to be inside in his room where it's warm and it's dry. And he can play all hours of the day. And he doesn't have to deal with predators outside. And he's a very, very happy boy. It is about 7 p.m. right now. I am just getting home. 
And here's Hydrox hanging out on the black cat doormat by the back door. There's Boo. They're probably like six feet away from each other. And I feel bad because I need to go in the door. And right now I am maybe 12 feet away from Hydrox. But he's comfortable so I might have to go in the front door instead of the back door. Simba and Boo were just smelling each other through the gate. Simba's hanging out in the kitchen. Estella's hanging out in the kitchen waiting for food. Hi Stella. Simba's saying hello also. I did go through the front door instead of the back door. I did not want to disturb Hydrox. I don't know if he wants food because yesterday when it was dark out, I gave him some food. He did not eat it. Like he did not eat it. And I feel like if he wanted food when he saw me, he would have meowed or um, maybe got up and went toward the food. Look at this. There's Stella. There's Simba. Hey, Stella. How you doing? They're very happy that I'm home. You said no? Okay, no. No tummy rub? I'm gonna rub your head instead. Okay. Okay. They are both purring so loudly. Now, when I was out today, uh, Boo had the gates in the door to his bedroom. So, there could have been interactions through the gates. They did not finish their tuna. I don't know why, because they usually love the tuna. So, I might just put this outside and see if Hydrox wants to eat off of it. He can't be very hungry. He had a huge can of food before, which I don't even think he ate most of. I don't know who ate it. Maybe the birds, maybe the other cat. I don't even know. He has dry food in the feeder. Okay, it's still rainy and drizzly outside, so I took the leftover tuna that the cats did not eat, and I put the entire platter outside, and if I put the leg of the table on it, it does not blow away because it is windy out also. And there's plenty of tuna on there for Hydrox to have a good meal. If he eats fast, he could go into his house. Oh my God, is it snowing? It could be snowing. I mean, it's cold out. I hope it's not snowing. Yeah, it looks like it's snowing. See the snow on his fur? Hopefully he'll eat fast. Okay, there's the plate. I would say Hydrox ate half of the food that was on the plate. I don't know if you could see that there's still food on it. And I knew he was gonna do that. Like he never wants a big, big meal. He just wants to know he's being fed and there's food available. So he went from eating here and then he walked into the cat shelter. I just gave Boo his food. It is the primal raw turkey nugget and a quarter cup of the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Bites. This is what is left of his breakfast. So he almost ate all of the tuna. And I have to say that when I got back today, there's like this weird funky smell in part of the house. And I don't know if it's because the tuna, you know, was out on the plate or if one of the cats did something like hairball or accident or something. Like it doesn't smell like cat poop. 
and it doesn't smell like cat pee it's like this other weird odor I don't know if it's the Christmas tree it doesn't smell like Christmas tree so I don't know I'm gonna have to look for it I do have to say that you know the raw food does not have a bad aroma at all and this tuna I mean you could smell it from like six feet away Today is day 12 of Advent, and we are going to open the cat's little gift bag. Boo, you want to open it? Want to open the bag? Do you? What's in it? You going to open it? What's in it, Boo? What you get? What you get, Boo? Open it up. Open it. You don't want to open it? You could open it. You can open it. Go ahead, open it. Open your present. You don't want to open it? No? It's a can. What is it a can of? What is it, Boo? What is it? It is a can of Weruva Polynesian barbecue. It says it's grain and gluten free with grilled big red eye. Does that sound good, Boo? Does that sound good? Want to pose? Pose with the present? Okay. The ingredients are sardine, tuna, red big eye, water sufficient for processing, sunflower seed oil, locust bean, tricalcium phosphate, carrageenan, guar gum, choline chloride, taurine, and then you have a bunch of vitamins and minerals. And that's it. So it is mostly sardines, tuna, red big eye, and then thickeners and binders. So why is it a Polynesian barbecue? Is red big eye a Polynesian fish? I've never even heard of it before. But it looks interesting and the cats ate dinner hours ago. Uh, so instead of getting dry food this evening, they're gonna get this as a treat. This is what it looks like. It's kind of scary looking. It looks like like aspic or jelly with fish chunks in it. I mean, that's like a really big fish chunk, right? The aroma is quite fishy. And Boo ate most all of his dinner. There was just a little bit of the turkey nugget left. So I am going to portion him out like one fourth of this can. Okay, and there's what it looks like. It all came out in like one big jellied portion. It reminds me of like like a jello mold. But he's gobbling it up. Oh my gosh. He really likes this one. But it definitely it definitely smells like sardines. So I am going to let him eat this. I'm going to take the rest down to the downstairs cats. Stella loves her little plastic bed. That's her new thing. That's where she hangs out now. Hey Splash! Want some treats? Want some fishy treats? Polynesian barbecue? Splash, would you like some Polynesian barbecue? Okay, I put down there three little servings.
Splash is just watching. Splash, go eat it! Splash, go eat it! I don't think it's even been five minutes yet and Boo just finished that food like he inhaled it. And when I was downstairs with the other cats, I heard like some banging noise. So I don't know what he did. I don't know what he knocked over. But to me, he looked like he was guilty in the kitchen. I just gave Boo some dry food. Look how fast he eats it. I mean, you would think this cat is starving, but he gets a good amount of food. Splash is sitting here licking his chops, so I know he ate. Right, Splash? Did you like the food? Did you like the food? I hear some in the litter. It looks like it's all gone. I mean, aside from little bits and pieces of it. So they all love that food. Sometimes I like to annoy what I was gonna. <laughs> Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Boo. 8.49 a.m. How are you? You good boy? Who's having his nature's variety instinct raw bites for breakfast? It's Boo's food. Boo, are you going to eat your food? Okay, Boo's getting his crunchies in the cat it circuit. I use that as like one of those interactive feeder things. So he'll have to work to get the crunchies out. He does. He got them all out the other day when I did that. I mean, it's not like the cat it digger that's specifically made for the purpose. But it's good enough. I just put the wheatgrass by Boo's door. And today the gate is in the door. Boo's eating crunches. Boo's eating crunchies out of his cat at circuit. Look at this. Both Stella and Simba are eating their grass. Near Boo's gate. Boo's looking at them right now. This will be huge because this would be like the first time that Stella will actually eat something by this gate. Usually she doesn't even want to come into the hallway when Boo's around. But I think what helped was keeping the gates in his door while the cats were on free roam. And I was not home. Or, well, I was sleeping. Either of those. When the cats had the house and then Boo's door was open with the gate, that seems to have made a lot of progress. Because the cats will just sit here and, you know, hiss and growl or do whatever they want to do and kind of acknowledge him. So here is the cat at digger. I had given them some dry food in this digger yesterday and it is all gone. I'm really liking giving them dry food in some kind of interactive um, mechanism versus giving them treats in an interactive uh, toy thing. I think the dry food works better and I'd rather have the treats be something that I, you know, hand feed them or, you know, give to them by hand. Um, I just think it works out better that way. I just gave Hydrox half of a can of Friskies because I think he has not been eating the whole can. He's only been eating part of the can. Here's Hydrox. I literally watched him walk out of the side vestibule of the heated cat shelter and he walked as close as this, which is maybe like four feet away from me. And he's just been sitting there meowing and he'll eat his food. Right? Right? Right, Hydrox? You gonna stretch? Oh, look, front stretch and back stretch. Ooh, that's good, Hydrox, right? Okay, so I was just outside with no coat or anything on, like 
I'm just wearing a light sweater and jeans. And it was really, really cold out. And I had no idea exactly how cold it is out. It's like 20 degrees, like less than 20 degrees. So I gave him half a can. What I am going to do is I'm just going to hang out around here for a few minutes and see what he does. I don't think he's going to eat much of it. In which case the other half of the can is going to go in the refrigerator or I'm just going to put it aside until later. But if he does eat it all, I'll give him the rest of the can. It's really super windy and I need to throw that plate away. But I wanted him to eat because he looked really hungry. I didn't want to take the plate over to the garbage, come back and, you know, scare him away and stuff. So let's just keep an eye on what he's doing. Okay, I just came back outside because I saw Hydrox walk away. He pretty much finished the food, so I'm going to give him the other half of the can. There's Hydrox hanging out by the vestibule next to the shelter. There he is. I just came inside and he just walked over to the food to eat more of it. And some people have suggested that I move the feeder closer to the shelter so he doesn't have to walk as far. And um, you never want to put food in, around, or near a cat shelter because the food attracts predators and it attracts other animals like raccoons, skunks, possum, other wildlife, especially at night. And you don't want that near the cat shelter. You want to keep that far away from the cat shelter. In this case, I don't know, maybe it's like 14 to 16 feet away. And um, I find that's a decent distance. 1.30 p.m. Out of all the cats, Simba talks to me the most. Simba's always talking to me, right, Simba? Simba wants to be like a best buddy. Right now he wants food. He's looking for like some snacks. I just went upstairs to get my camera because I had come downstairs to get something and Stella and Splash were like all cuddled up together on the ottoman, but of course, I guess I disrupted her and she got up because she's probably looking for treats or food also. It is 6.52 p.m. and I just got home and as I was walking across the patio, Hydrox was standing right next to the steps like he was waiting for me to get home. Now he's uh, moved to near the table and it is still freezing cold out. So I am going to give him some dry food in the feeder. How are you Hydrox? You being a good boy? Okay, there's Hydrox eating his food. I gave him four big heaping tablespoons of the dry food. He's getting the good dry food, the Nature's Variety dry food. And there was still water in the water side, and it's not frozen, but the feeder itself was frozen to the patio. So I ended up moving it, and um, it's really cold out. It says it's like 20 degrees out. Good thing cats have thick fur coats and uh, they could deal with the cold. Now, remember, Hydrox has been living outside for at least five years um, that I know of. And he's withstood all of the winters without this cushy setup of the kitty cafe and the feeder and the warm house. So. I just experienced another new first. So I came downstairs with the food for the cats and they all came down here with me. And then Splash jumped onto the steps. He wasn't this high on the steps. Right now he's like on the eighth step, but he jumped onto like the fourth step and he let me pet him. He did not run away. And uh, just the fact that he let me pet him on the steps is like really new for him. Usually like that's what Simba does. Simba sleeping all over the steps and wants me to pet him, but Splash did that. The other thing that I wanted to point out is that over the past few days, since I've been putting the gates in Boo's door and letting these cats have the free roam and kind of just uh, approach his door when they want to and uh, meow at him and growl at him and all that stuff, there has been a shift in their mood. And... Um, they're returning to being happy cats again. Uh, when Boo came inside for a while, they were stressed, like I could feel the stress off of them. 
and then they were not very happy for a while. Um, it wasn't like they were 100% completely miserable. Well, maybe Stella was, but it's only been over like the past few days that it really feels like they're back to being happy cats. They used to be very, very happy cats, and then when Boo came inside, it shifted a little bit uh, in the non-happy direction. You know, there was some stress. You could feel it in the air. Um, and now they're getting back to being happy cats again. Now, when Boo comes out of his room and there's more integration, I don't know if that's going to continue, but um, at least that's how it feels now. Hello, Boo. Did you have a nice day? You had a nice day? Did you? Are you hungry? Boo ate all of his breakfast, all of it. And Boo almost ate all of his crunchies. There's still some crunchies around there. Boo, you left some crunchies in your circuit. Hello, Boo. Hello, Boo. Today is day 13 on the cat's advent calendar. I can't believe it's day 13. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. So um, let's see what they got. Boo, what'd you get? What is it, Boo? Boo. What is it? Look. They're shiny balls. They're shiny ball cat toys. You want one? Which one would you like? You want that one? Pick one. Pick one, Boo. You get first choice because you're up here, okay? Then I bring them downstairs. You don't like them? What's the matter, Boo? You don't like them? You're not crazy about them? You think they look too girly? They're too girly for you? Here, what's this one? You don't know what they are? You just want to lay down next to them? Here, want the red one? You look nice in red, boo. Red's your color. You want it? You can't have all of them. You can't have all of them. You could have one. You could have the red one, okay? Yeah. Ready? Maybe he's too tired to play. Right now it's about 10.53 p.m. Ready? Maybe he doesn't like how they taste. He's getting much better. Remember when I could not put my hand anywhere near him with a toy or else he would like totally slash me to bits? He's so much better. Boo, uh-oh, what do you got, it on your mouth? All right, let's play catch, ready? I don't know if these are gonna last. I feel like they're gonna unravel really fast, ready? These are spot mylar balls. So these are made out of the same thing that those shiny balloons are made out of, those mylar balloons. I don't think Boo's really too thrilled with these toys. Which um, leads me, oh, I just found it. I found Boo's mouse from the other day. He loves it. 
See, he'd rather play with that. That was under a piece of furniture, but it was easy access under a piece of furniture versus moving a sectional. Okay, I'm downstairs with the other cats. We're gonna open their advent present today, right? Right? What is it, Simba? You wanna pose with the bag? You wanna pose? Come here, look at me. Simba, look at me and pose. Come here. Okay, come on. Come here. That's good. Thank you. What's in the bag, guys? What'd you get? You got shiny balls. You want to play with one? Pick one. Which one would you like? You want the blue one? This one? Is that the one? Look. Simba will chase anything. See how careful they are on that wheel? It's like they don't want to do anything to make it move. Stella is more interested in the tissue paper than the toys. And this pretty one with the pink and green? No? Yeah, she doesn't care. Stella. 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 Sometimes I like to annoy what I was gonna <laughs> what I was going to say <laughs> was sometimes I like to annoy Stella just to get her mad. She's the only one that'll do that. Like I could go Simba 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 See he won't get mad, he'll just walk away. But Stella she won't just walk away like she'll get mad. Simba. 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 See, he doesn't get mad. I have a boo pillow. Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. 7.15 a.m. Simba was laying on the bed for a little while. It's snowing. 8.05 a.m. It is still snowing. Originally, we we're only supposed to get like up to an inch, but now we're supposed to get two to three inches. Stella, Splash, and Simba were on free roam last night. And I'm giving her some wheatgrass right now. So they normally don't eat breakfast this early because lately I've been waking up a lot later than this. But for some reason today, um, I was like wide awake at 6 a.m. So um, I'm having a me first kind of morning uh, where I actually take care of myself first. Like get dressed, take a shower, and all that stuff. And then I'm going to feed the cats and take care of them. Normally I just take care of them first and then I take care of myself. So 9 a.m. Still is in the living room. I have a boo pillow. Still 
Stella's not afraid of it. Stella's smelling it. Stella, you're not afraid of the pillow? Boo's afraid of the pillow. I think Stella's admiring it. No? Stella, doesn't it look like your boyfriend? I just heard some hissing. Who's hissing? Simba, are you hissing or was that Boo hissing? Hmm? Who's hissing? And why are you hissing? Why are you hissing? Hmm? Boo ate all of his dinner last night and he moved his cat at circuit closer to his food. I put both of his toys up here in the love seat and he looks like he didn't play with them anymore. I want him. It is 10.28 a.m. This thermometer says it's about 26 degrees out. I just cleared off the patio area and uh, the driveway and the sidewalks and the front walks and um, it's nice and crisp and cold and invigorating out today. I'm just very happy that the sun is out to melt a lot of this. Now I did not see Hydrox today, but what I did see were cat tracks. I saw cat tracks from the shelter to the table, from the table to the feeder, and then from the feeder down along the side of the garage, all the way down the driveway, and then he made a left um, to one of their neighbor's houses. So Hydrox is out, I think he's out looking for breakfast. What I also did today, since he was not here and I was not going to scare him, was I took the top off of this uh, doghouse feeder station and um, I uh, looked at the feeder mechanism inside and it was not dispensing food because something in the display was wrong. Um, the last time it was set, it was not cycled all the way through. There's Hydrox. And it was left on, um, you know, the setting to set it. So I fixed that and now tomorrow morning it should dispense food. So that means that it has not been dispensing food for uh, a good week or more. But Hydrox has been getting his wet food, so that's good. Hello Hydrox. How are you? Did you guys hear him meowing as he was like walking up behind me? So I was basically standing on the patio filming the feeder and he walked onto the patio he walked by me and he walked here to his little apartment. So this cat is definitely becoming less and less afraid of me. What I want to do is move the little sunroom over and put it here. That's where the sunroom was last winter. So um, when it snowed, um, it kept the area under the sunroom dry and then um, when the snow was removed for the sunroom, it helped heat up the area and it helped heat up this house also. And this is the sunroom that I'm talking about. It's just like that uh, plastic window cover uh, unit. So um, I'm going to remove this from here and I'm going to put it near Hydrox's shelter, but I'm not going to do that until um, the snow melts and then it's dry. Hello, Boo. I just came inside and Hydrox is eating his food. Good boy. Give him half a can of frisky salmon pate, and then like maybe like a quarter cup of dry food. He's gonna look in the feeder, and there's nothing in the feeder. Oh no, he just turned around. Okay, but I did um, wipe out the bowl in the feeder because it was kind of grungy. So I cleaned the bowl out. I gave him new water, and uh, he has crunchy food and wet food. What I just realized is that I need to reprogram the feeder so it's feeding twice a day. I need to program it so it's feeding him breakfast and then also feeding him some dinner just in case I don't get back before it gets dark because it's really hard. I mean, it gets dark so early now by like 4.30 and um, it's been pretty impossible for me to get home that early lately, so I should have done that. It is about 10 p.m. I just got home and um, I unloaded the car. It, I was back and forth from the car to the house about four times. I did not see Hydrox. But on this last trip, he came out and he's really close to me right now. He's under the patio table, 
and I'm only like three feet away from him. So I put some dry food in the feeder for him. And I'm gonna go inside because he looks cold. That way he can eat and go in his warm house, okay? There he is. He's eating the dry food. I did reset the automated feeder today. Um, not only did I reset it for the morning feeding, I also set it to dispense food at 4 p.m. So it's now dispensing a half a cup of dry food twice a day. The downstairs cats have not eaten their dinner yet. Hello, Splash. Hello. Simba. Hello, Simba. Are you guys hungry? Splash, are you hungry? Are you hungry? 11.30 p.m. Trying to finish editing a video. And Boo has decided he needs to sleep on top of my leg and get a belly rub. Boo, you want a belly rub? I've been sitting here rubbing his belly for like five minutes. Oh. Stella! 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 Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. 8.51 a.m. Good morning, Boo. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. You guys have a good time last night downstairs? It's like a cat playground. Are you hungry? Hello, Simba. Hey, Simba. Are you going to show us how you jump the gates? How you climb? 9.06 a.m. It is like 18 degrees out. It's really cold today. It's going down into the teens. And for some reason, this kitchen is so cold. And I just realized that one of the windows has been open like less than a centimeter, like a tiny, tiny amount. I opened it the other day and um, I guess I forgot to close it and it never really bothered me. But now, because it's so cold out, the kitchen is super cold. But on the positive side, there's a lot of fresh air in the house. Boo is getting his instinct raw chicken bites for breakfast. Time for cat grass. I basically just let them munch on this for like a minute or two while I'm getting their breakfast together. Hey guys. Simba's a happy boy today. You happy boy, Simba? It is 11 a.m. Boo ate his breakfast, so now he can have some crunchies. Want some crunchies? Do you want them in your circuit or do you want them on your plate? You want them in your circuit? You have fun taking them out? Okay. Okay, I just sprinkled crunchies all throughout his circuit. So now he could have a good time getting all of the crunchies out. Right, Boo? You're welcome. It's 11.15 a.m. I just gave Hydrox some new water and a can of the Nature's Variety wet food. Um, I picked up a few more cans of that and I'm giving him half a can right now. He should have had um, the dry food in the feeder and um, he'll have dry food later and if I see that he eats this then I could always put some more food in before I leave. And here's Hydrox. He just came out of his apartment. Hello Hydrox. How are you today? Are you a good boy today? Are you cold? You look cold. I'll let you go eat your food, and then you can go in your nice little warm apartment, okay? There's Hydrox eating his food. 
11.43 a.m. Simba has been watching squirrel videos on TV for about the past half hour, 45 minutes. I had put the videos on for Boo when Boo was on free roam. And then um, I put Boo in his room and the other cats came upstairs and Simba has been glued to the TV ever since. Like right now he's not glued to it because I took the camera out. But the minute I take my attention off of him, he will put his attention back onto the squirrel videos. Right, Simba? I even repositioned the scratch and roll so he could sit on it and watch the TV. But he's been just pretty much standing in front of it. It is about 7 p.m. I just got home and the house is abnormally cool. Like it's cold in this house. And I think there's something wrong with the furnace because it's kicking on. Like there, it's kicking on. But it only stays on for a few seconds and then it kicks off. And I had this problem years ago when I first moved into the house. So I'm, I'm thinking I might have to fix it again. Okay, so it looks like I just fixed the furnace and I just watched a YouTube video to refresh my memory. Basically, like right in here, there's like a piece of metal that's right now it's in the flame. I don't know if you could see it, but that kind of gets crusty. I, that's the best way that I could um, explain it and I don't have the proper terminology of what it is. It's like some kind of heat sensor and what you have to do is you have to actually clean it off every few years. So I just found some sandpaper and um, I just really quickly stuck my hands in there and I roughed it up with sandpaper to clean off more of the surface of it before it would only go on for like a few seconds and shut off and go on and shut off and that's the same exact problem that I had for a while. Now ideally the video that I watched says you actually want to take that piece out um, but I didn't have the tool handy to unscrew it because it's not just a screw. Um, you need some kind of like little wrench thing which I don't have handy and it's snowing out and the tool would be in the garage and I would have to look for it so I just uh, used kind of like uh, a temporary solution just roughing it up with some sandpaper. Ideally it would be cleaned off better than I just cleaned it but I just wanted to clean it off good enough that the furnace stays on. So right now I'm really happy because the house will uh, bring itself back up to a decent heat. Right now it's about 64 degrees in the house but it's really really cold. So right now the temperature inside is up to 65 degrees so I have it set for 72. So once that number starts going up I'll be happy. Right now we're at 66. It is day 15 of Advent but we did not open yesterday's advent present. So I have day 14 and day 15. I have not fed the cats their dinner yet because I have an idea of what might be in one of these bags. Except Stella is just, uh, she doesn't want to be too close to Boo's door. And Boo's in his room right now with the gate on the door. So, all right, I'm just gonna start opening these and if Stella wants to come over and watch, she can come over and watch. So let's do day 14. What did the cats get? They got wellness kittles, tasty, crunchy cat treats, salmon and cranberries recipe, 100% all natural, grain free. Let's check out the ingredients. Salmon, peas, potatoes, chickpeas, chicken meal, herring meal, cranberries, blueberries, chicken fat preserved with mixed to cough rolls, natural flavor, ground flaxseed, salmon oil, rosemary extract, green tea extract, and spearmint extract. It looks good to me. Let's see if Stella wants one. I know Boo wants one because I hear him meowing from his door. Stella, you want some treats? Here comes Stella. Here comes Stella. Stella loves treats. Stella, you want to smell the bag? Want to smell them? Okay, you want one? Oh, 
That's what they look like. I don't know if you guys could see them. They're just really small treats. See the treat? Yeah, these are really small treats. Here's Stella, here's Boo, and here are the treats. Stella is very motivated by treats today because she's very hungry. So, right now, there's no growling, there's no hissing. Let's see if I could give them treats at the same time near the door. Here. Stella doesn't want to go too close to the gate. I just gave you treats right here, Stella. And Boo's eating. He don't care. They both love their treats. I don't know who loves treats more. What do you guys think? Do you think Stella loves treats more or Boo? This is about how far I could get Stella. Come here, Stella. But I don't want to give him too many treats. I'll give Boo a few more. Stella, you got a treat right here. Okay, then we have day 15. I wonder what's in day 15. It looks, it looks like a can of food. This is Purina Beyond Grain Free Turkey Sweet Potato and Spinach Recipe. Made with real turkey, no corn, wheat, or soy, no poultry byproduct meal, no added artificial colors, no flavors or preservatives in gravy. And what kind of ingredients do we have here? We have poultry broth, turkey, chicken, liver, dried egg product, sweet potatoes, spinach, potato starch, natural flavor, guar gum, sodium phosphate, potassium chloride, salt, taurine, then we go into a bunch of vitamins and minerals. Let's go see if the cats like this. This will be their appetizer today. Let's see if Simba likes the new treats. Simba, look, I got new treats for you. Do you like them? Stella! 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 There's plenty of food for everyone. This is what happens to her when she gets hungry. It's okay, here. Simba loves them, but Simba loves all treats. Splash is all upset. Here, Splash. Here. Splash is all upset because his mother has bad behavior. Stella? That was very trashy behavior. We don't behave that way, Stella. Stella, we don't behave that way. You know we don't behave that way. Right, Stella? I'm giving Splash his treats. Poor Splash. I'm trying to hold Simba back. Good boy, Splash. Well, they love these treats. Here is what it looks like. It is not a pate. It is more like chunks and gravy. I've put three separate portions on this platter and let's go see if the cats like it. Simba is purring very loudly. Well, it looks like Splash does not like that. Either he doesn't like it or he's disgusted by his mother. And he wants nothing to do with her. Because he's embarrassed by her behavior. Because he has better manners than that.
Well, Simba just gobbled that up. Oh my gosh, look at that. Where Stella has been licking up the liquid. Simba's been eating his and Stella has just been licking her liquid. Now Simba is eating Splash's portion. Splash needs to learn how to be more assertive. Sim is probably going to eat Stella's portion also if Stella doesn't hurry up and eat it. Maybe Stella's done. Maybe she just wants to lick all the juice. Well, they certainly like this turkey, sweet potato, and spinach food. I think Splash would like it also if Stella hadn't acted so rudely to Simba. Splash is sensitive to those things. Now they're getting their regular food, which is the Primal Raw Turkey Nuggets and their Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Chicken Bites. And they did not really get dry food today. I think they just only had like one tablespoon among the three of them. So hopefully they'll eat all of this. Hello, Splashy. Don't you want to eat? Don't you want to eat, Splash? I just gave Boo his appetizer. He should eat it also. He had about one tablespoon of dry food in the cadet circuit earlier today, which is now completely empty. All of the dry food is gone, so that worked well. And it looks like he really likes this food also. I wonder if the reason why they're all so hungry today is because the heat wasn't working. I just gave Boo his food. It's the same thing that the other cats are getting except Boo gets his herbs and he gets some water and what I'm realizing is that the reason why Boo is not eating his food when I give it to him is because it's too cold. Now, it's not super, super ice cold, like if I forgot to defrost it cold. It's really cold because I think the way I'm defrosting it keeps it too insulated. I'm defrosting it um, on these ceramic dishes inside of a glass pan with like a cover on it. And then there's like an aluminum sheet pan underneath it. And I think it's not warming up enough. I think it's just staying cold. And um, I think that's what the issue is. So I need to change that. Hey, right, Boo. It's too cold for you, right? Well, Boo wants to say hello to me. It is now 72 degrees in the house. I had set it to 72 to get it warm. And it is toasty in here. So, um really happy that the furnace has been fixed 12 15 a.m splash was laying on top of the cat tower hello splash stella was laying in her little blue basket that's her favorite place i just gave them one tablespoon of dry food on the platter one tablespoon of dry food in the digger and i gave splash one tablespoon of dry food under the trampoline Uh-oh, look what somebody did. Somebody knocked the self-groomer off the wall. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. 8.30 a.m. 
I just woke up and both Simba and Splash were sitting together looking in Boo's door. Now this is about 20 minutes after Stella woke me up by jumping on my bed and wanting to be petted, which she has not done in months. Like, she used to do that every single morning and then Boo came in the house and she stopped doing it and she did it again. So that is another reason why I'm thinking they're finally all getting back to normal again. Being a house of happy cats instead of stressed out cats. I wonder where Boo is. Do you think Boo's right on the other side of that gate? Or do you think he's like near the windows and far away? I'm going to walk up to the gate and let's see where Boo is. Guys, look. Boo is right there. Guys, look at this. Boo is right there. He's right there. That means Splash and Simba were sitting on this side of the gate and he's on the other side of the gate and they're all hanging out together. They're all just sitting with each other. That's really good. Even Splash, look, I moved closer and he's still here. Boo ate all of his dinner from last night. Good morning, Boo. He's just rubbed on his arches and he got a good stretch. And now he wants to eat. Right, Boo? Did you have fun talking to Simba and Splash this morning? Did you enjoy talking to Simba and Splash? What did you guys talk about? What did you guys talk about, Boo? Huh? Do you remember who they are? Did you have a little getting acquainted party? Is that what you did? Nine fifty two AM and Miss America just walk down her little catwalk. That's the first time I've seen her do that in a very, very long time. Hello, Miss America. How are you? I'm very fluffy today, thank you. Did you talk to Boo through the door? Did you talk to Boo through the gate? Is that what it is? You had a conversation with him? You guys feeling better with each other? Are you? This is what the kitty cafe looks like today. We got a few more inches of snow yesterday. Uh, more than I would have liked. And um, this area has stayed clean and unfrozen for the cats. So I am going to refill the water and put a half a can of food out for Hydrox. This is the Nature's Variety. Um, I think it's the Pride Chicken food. Cat print. Cat print. There's Hydrox. He just came out of the house, the little heated house. He, I don't know if he smells the food or he hears me slide the bowl under the table, but he always comes out at the perfect time. He just walked over to the food bowl to eat, but he smelled it and he decided he wanted dry food. So right now he's eating dry food. You can't see him because the table's in the way and also that piece of insulation is in the way, but he's eating dry food and um, that dispenser should be feeding twice a day, so he should have plenty of food. It's now a few minutes later, and Hydrox went back to eating his wet food. He's a happy cat. It is 26 degrees out. Hello, Hydrox. Hello, Hydrox.
I think he went somewhere to poop. And look what he did. He ran into his apartment. And he's sitting there. Now remember, I made a deal with these cats many years ago. I told them that I would feed them if they never pooped in my yard. Because when I first moved into this house, I would find cat poop on the lawn. And I didn't like that. So I told them to stop pooping on my lawn and I would give them food. And we've had that deal ever since. The only time I find poop on my yard is when one of the neighbors walks their dog and forgets to clean up after themselves. There's Hydrox's footprints and there's one of my boot prints. Look at the bottom of my boot. It makes little snowflakes. They're like little cookie cutters on the bottom of my boots. They make snowflakes. It's about 3 p.m. I'm just getting home. And I have a statue in the window. It was so funny to drive past the house and see this cat statue in the window. Now she's moving around. But she was just sitting there very tall and very still. They get excited when they see me like walking up toward the house. I just gave Hydrox a handful of the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw freeze-dried uh, bites. He's eating those. Uh-oh. Look what somebody did. Somebody knocked the self-groomer off the wall. Stella, was that you? Stella, was that you? You knocked it off? Is that why you're all upset? Yep. She's already missing it. I just put it back on the wall. I think it's still on the original tape that it came with. Stella loves it. She loves it more than actually being brushed. There's not really any catnip in it either. It is about 4.30 p.m. I just checked the automated feeder and it dispensed dry food. So right now there is dry food in the feeder. It is 7.47 p.m. and Boo ate his entire breakfast. He's had some crunchies since breakfast and it's been a very, very busy day as we prepare for the Christmas holidays. Hello, Boo. Boo has been on free roam for I think pretty much the whole afternoon. I was out most of the day and um, for the past few hours, Boo has been hanging out in the living room. He's been in the cat tower looking out the front window. Hey Boo. For a while he was sitting on my lap. I was trying to edit today's video and um, yeah. So right now what I want to do is I want to feed the cats. I want to get the video posted and then I want to go back out and finish my Christmas shopping. Boo is getting his dinner. It is one of the Primal Raw Turkey Nuggets and a quarter cup of the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Chicken Bites with some fresh cat grass, um, his herbs, and some water. I mean, this is like really seriously like a gourmet cat restaurant. Are you eating dinner? Simba, are you eating dinner? Splash, are you eating dinner? Who's eating dinner? I just witnessed it. I just saw it. Stella knocked the self-groomer off of the wall. Stella. Now, I was surprised that that self-groomer stayed on the wall for as long as it did. But I'm just going to put it back up. I mean, look, they're still rubbing on the wall. But they get a much better rub with the self-groomer there. 
Okay, so I've just been sitting here holding the self-groomer and watching what Stella would do. Now, she was not always sitting in the box, but she was sitting right next to the self-groomer. And I was holding the self-groomer. And you could literally see her making decisions. You could literally see her thinking and saying, should I rub up against it? Should I not rub up against it? Someone's holding it. It's not on the wall. I mean... It is just so apparent how these cats think. I mean, they're so smart. I just put it back on the wall and I kind of like banged it on with my hand and you could see Simba visibly upset about it. And look, there's Stella right back. She loves it. Stella loves this self-groomer as much as Boo loves his arch. Okay, it's been a while since I've opened any mail just because things have been super busy with the holidays. There are a ton of boxes underneath the Christmas tree. Uh, so instead of doing mail day, I am going to do mail time. I grabbed um, a bunch of packages and let's open these. What do we have here? This says, two lucky ferals. Sorry guys, not a toy, just something to hang on the tree or garland of Boo and Simba. Enjoy from J Red and Huff. Look how cute. It looks like Boo. Can you see that? I know there's a reflection, but it looks like Boo wearing a hat. Isn't that adorable? And look, it's Simba. Can you see that? It looks just like him. So cute. Thank you, J Red and Huff, for these adorable Christmas decorations. This says, Hi, Lucky Ferrell's mom. Hope you like these custom Christmas decorations, not cat toys. Hugs from J Red and Huff. Oh my gosh, look. Oh my gosh, it's Stella. How crazy is that? That is so cute. She's all dressed up. It says making spirits bright. That is awesome. Oh my gosh, look at this. It says baby, it's cold outside. And there's Stella and Simba and Boo and Splash. Look how cute. They did such a great job on that. That is so awesome. Thank you so much, J Red and Huff. These are so nice. They're really like works of art to uh, hang on the tree. What a great job. Now, who's the artist? This is one in three women. It says, thank you very much for your order. We enjoyed making this for you. Your purchase helps keep the work we do to end violence against women going. Chayla McCormack, president founder, Etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash one in three women. These are super cute. This is Hi Lucky, enjoy your gift from Paul Ryder. Health and happiness to you and your families. We have a PetSmart gift card. It's a $50 gift card. Thank you so much. This will totally come in handy when I'm buying the cats their food or their litter or whatever else they might need. It's totally appreciated. Thank you so much. It says, hello, Ms. Lucky Ferrell, Stella, Boo, Simba, Splash, and Hydrox. Merry Christmas. Wishing you all a happy and peaceful holiday season. Thanks for allowing us a peek into your lives. Lisa Hart. Well, thank you, Lisa. We have a Whole Foods gift card, $25 to Whole Foods. 
Thank you so much, Lisa. This is so great. This just makes my life so much more convenient um, when I could just pop into Whole Foods when I don't have time to prepare meals um, or if I need something quick uh, for the cats. Thank you so much. This is Hi Lucky, just a little thing for the cats for Christmas from Smarty Plum and Cheese Puff. Well, thank you, Smarty Plum and Cheese Puff. What do we have? We have a $50 Pet Smart gift card. So awesome. Thank you so much. This will definitely go towards litter or the raw food that the cats eat or sometimes when I need to buy dry food or canned food. Um, this will always be put to good use. It's very much appreciated. Thank you. This says, to my fabulous, friendly, furry, famous fellow ferals, I am so happy that all you guys busted the myth. Ferals give so much back. All we need is some extra time adjusting to our new surroundings. Love, Avery. And this says, to the entire Lucky Feral household, Merry Christmas to all of you. Love, Avery and her sister, Carmen. Well, thank you, Avery and Carmen. This is awesome, two $25 Petco gift cards. These are totally going to be put to great use buying supplies for the cats. Again, I use it to buy litter. Um, they also sell the raw food there, um, the dry food, and also the wet food. Pretty much anything that these cats could need, I can get at uh, the local Petco. So these will definitely be put to good use and they are very much appreciated. Thank you. This says, two lucky ferals, best wishes and happy holidays, Kathy and Kitty Sammy and Larissa. Well, thank you guys. Thank you, Kathy and Kitty Sammy and Larissa. What do we have? We have a $25 Petco gift card. Awesome. This is always so great. We have a $25 gift card to Panera. Thank you so much. That really helps save me time when my schedule is super hectic and I don't have any time to make meals for myself. Uh, this is great. And we have three $25 Whole Foods gift cards. Amazing. Thank you so much for these again. And this just makes my life so much easier when I could pop in there and grab a healthy meal um, when it's just too hectic. Uh, to cook or prepare anything. So thank you so much. This was super, super nice of you to send all these gift cards. I totally appreciate that. And uh, they will all be put to really great use. Okay, we're gonna open three more and that will be it for today because I have to get up early tomorrow. This looks like it's some kind of book. Feels like a book. This says, all my patients are under the bed. Memoirs of a Cat Doctor by Dr. Louis J. Camuti with Marilyn and Haskell Frankel. Oh, this looks good. It says, Dr. Louis J. Camuti, America's most beloved, prestigious, and inimitable cat doctor has been treating felines for nearly 60 years. He has cared for so many cats, in fact, that he has stopped trying to remember their names and simply calls them either Nicodemus or Azwilda, depending on their gender. Now the legendary veterinarian, who at 87 still makes exhausting rounds of house calls, shares his incomparable experiences as the Albert Schweitzer of the cat world. His anecdotes, both funny and tender, the feisty but charming, Dr. Kamudi makes astute observations about his patients and their owners, and he writes with fondness about the myths and mystiques of cat people in particular, with clients ranging from film stars to retired army generals. He has attended a number of celebrity cats, such as those of Tallulah Bankhead and James Mason, but he has also treated some interesting unknowns. The original cat burglar, for example, who would escape from his apartment and return with gloves, hats, toupees, and other purloined items which he proudly displayed to his owner's guests. 
the descendant of a long unbroken line of doctors and Italian counts. The unassuming Dr. Camuti here recalls with sparkling good humor his first unglamorous opportunities as a young veterinarian, inspecting poultry, treating horses in the army, fainting from chloroform fumes while attempting to put a St. Bernard to rest. The dog survived. Since then, he has become the fastest shot in the East, has discovered vodka to be the perfect home antiseptic, and has developed the famous Kamudi method of tracking down cats, even in their most unfathomable apartment hangouts. Beds, linen closets, refrigerators, his expertise on urban wildlife, he has treated every kind of animal from honey bears to ocelots, has led him to the conclusion that if an animal can fit through an apartment door, someone in New York City will have one as a pet. He is everything you or your cat would want him to be warm, wise, witty, kind, as perceptive about his patient's owners as he is about the animals themselves. If you like cats, or even if you don't, you will like Dr. Kamudi as he delights his admirers and fellow animal lovers with tales of his life and adventures. That sounds like a really interesting book, and I can't wait to read it. But I don't know who this is from. There's no note. So whoever sent the book, thank you very much. What do you have here? We have a DVD, That Darn Cat. Now, I've never seen this. Um, it says, the original Disney film classic with Haley Mills, Dean Jones, Dorothy Provine, Roddy McDowell, and Neville Brand. That looks cute. This will be great to watch this winter. We have The Cat from Outer Space. Another Disney movie. I've never seen this one. This stars Ken Berry, Sandy Duncan, Harry Morgan, Roddy McDowell, and McLean Stevenson. This will be fun to watch. And The Three Lives of Thomasina. Again, I've never seen any of these. Together they'll learn the power of love. Look at the little cat. And this is another Walt Disney movie starring Patrick McGowan, Susan Hampshire, and introducing Karen Dotris, Matthew Garber, and Elspeth March as the voice of Thomasina. And these three DVDs are from Wagmore. Thank you so much, Wagmore. This is another very thoughtful gift from you. Very much appreciated. <laughs> Come on, Boo. We're going to put these aside right now. We're not playing with them right now. We're going to put... Oh, my God. He just picked up the whole thing and walked off with it. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. 8.30 a.m. Hello, Boo. Hello, Boo. Good morning, Boo. Boo slept on top of the cat tower in front of the living room windows. Today there are a whole bunch of animal tracks outside. I don't know if they're all cat tracks or raccoon tracks or what. But there's like one, two, three, four. Four sets of tracks. Boo ate all of his dinner last night. Today for breakfast, he's getting his nature's variety instinct raw bites with herbs and water. Right, Boo? Boo's fur is getting so long. Good morning, Stella. Good morning, Simba. Someone was jumping on the gates this morning. I think it was Simba. Good morning, Splash. They made a mess out of this place down here. I mean, everything's all over the place. Stella's waiting for our food. The birds are eating the dry cat food out of the feeder. Birds are so smart, they figured it out. They couldn't get in over the top like they used to. Now they walk on the patio and hop in from the bottom.
Okay, let's catch up with the cat's advent calendar. Today we are doing day 16 and we are also doing day 17 because today is day 17. So let's see what the cat's got. Let's do number 16 first. I'm here with Stella and Simba. We're downstairs. It's a little late right now. It's about 11.30 p.m. What'd you guys get? They got more cat play mice. These are pet tough. These are, um, they're not furry like the other ones. These are more like string mice. Okay, let's see if the cats like these. It says, pet king cat toys are safe and fun for your pet. They, they stimulate exercise and keep your cat or kitten busy for hours. Okay, let's open these. This is what the mice look like. They do not smell like catnip at all. And here's Simba. Simba, you want to play with the mouse? Simba, you want to play with one of the mice? Pick a mouse, any mouse. You're going to pick the blue one? They always pick the blue ones. Do you like it? Let me give one to Stella. What color do you guys think Stella would like? I'll put the brown one away for Boo. Simba! Whoop. Gosh, she doesn't even give me a chance. Maybe Stella would like the yellow one. That's not for you. Stella! Simba! Splash! Boo is upstairs making a lot of noise in his room right now. Here's Boo's new mouse. Boo, you want to play with your mouse? Look. Come on. Here. Want the mouse? Oops, stretching. I don't think they like these mice as much as the furry ones. Nope. Maybe it's just going to take them some time to figure it out. So I set up the automatic feeder earlier today to dispense his dinner and also his breakfast tomorrow. So that's his dinner right there. He did not eat it. Hopefully he'll eat it tonight because he's not getting any other food. Like, that's it. Here, want it? Want to play? They go Splash. Splash was going to go play. Splash, want to play? I think the cats will play with those mice. Well, I'm pretty positive they'll end up playing with those mice like throughout the night and tomorrow. There you go, Splashy's hiding. Stella's on a scratch and roll. Simba's hanging out. Let's see what they got in their advent bag for today. What'd you get, Stella? Stella, what did you get? What'd you get? What's in the bag? Gonna open it? Are you going to open it? What is it?
What's in here? What is it, Simba? Boo's at the door upstairs. It is Instinct Raw Boo's Mixers Rabbit Flavor. Splash just ran up the stairs to uh, see what's going on. Boo's up there meowing at the door. I think Splash is a little upset about it. So these are the um, freeze-dried Nature's Riding Instinct Raw Bites. These are the rabbit flavor ones. I just gave them the splash. And Simba stole it, so I just gave Splash a new one. And Simba stole that one too. These three automatic feeders were set to dispense dinner to the cats at 7 p.m. tonight. They're also set to dispense breakfast at 7 a.m. tomorrow. This one feeder did not dispense properly, so um, it's kind of a good thing that I came back tonight. I did not know if I was going to be back tonight or tomorrow, so to be on the safe side, I set it with food for tomorrow morning. And what happened was um, this feeder, for some reason, it did not turn and it did not dispense. So I manually adjusted the feeder tray and uh, that's what Stella's eating right now. So I don't know if she's just eating a double amount or um, if she did not eat before or what. I just put some of these Instinct uh, freeze-dried raw nuggets in the cat at Digger. Boo! Now I gave him two tablespoons of dry food before I left earlier this morning. So he's had food today. And he ate all of his breakfast, so. He is very aggressive with these treats. Like, I'm trying to take them out of the bag and he's just almost ready to, to attack my hand for them. Look, look, he's going crazy over them. It is mail time. So yesterday we opened some of the smaller packages. Today we're going to open some of the larger packages. What do we have here? This says, to the Lucky Ferrells family, enjoy from your neighbors in New York who were once feral too. Love Beeps, Lucky, Nick, and Mike. Well, thank you, Beeps, Lucky, Nick, and Mike. We have a Funhouse Mouse. It's more fun than a three ring circus. The world's strongest mouse. This is really cute. I've never seen this before. It says, it's a puzzle. How do I get the mouse out of the house? It's a mouse, all time favorite cat toy, plus a nice long tail. It's filled with catnip, 100% organic grown in the good old US of A catnip. That's cute. You're gonna love playing with that. It shows the toss and bite, the rabbit kick, push me, pull you, and whack and roll. This is really cute. And we have Silver Vine Natural Catnip Alternative. This is Perk 
Playfuls, five pixie powder packs for cats. Perk up your cat's life. This is perfect because there's five packs in here. And there's five cats here, including Hydrox. And I've been wanting to try the Silver Vine on Hydrox. And um, yeah, the weeks have just gone by fast. And I haven't had a chance to do that. But this will be really convenient for, for him to try it that way. It says, if your kitty's tired of the same old catnip, here's stimulating news. Each of these packs contains a safe, 100% natural powder derived from silver vine, a plant that grows in the mountainous regions of East Asia. Cats simply can't get enough of this stuff, so get ready for a meowing good time. Okay, this will be really interesting to give to the cats. I'm very curious to see how they'll react to it. And we have a battery-operated barrel of laughs. This is a fling-a-string, quadruple award-winning. And it looks like you hang it on a doorknob. And uh, then there's like a string on it that the cats play with. I mean, I could be wrong. I mean, it looks really cute. If cats had money, they'd buy one. It says, we'll have kitty stalking, pouncing, and leaping, and that's just to get you to turn it on. Instructions. Place three AA batteries not included into the back compartment. Hang S-hook to knob on the front of any standard door. Pull the black elastic belt at the bottom of the toy under the door. Pull one of the loops around back doorknob. Choose the tightest loop to best secure the toy. To prevent kitty from pulling pushing door, keep door closed. Turn on by moving slide to the right. Choose speed 1 or speed 2 according to kitty preference. Your cat will catch the string from time to time by biting, clawing, or pawing. When kitty lets go, the string will immediately start to rotate again. Alright, this is going to be really interesting to see the cats play with this. I've never seen this before. This is from Moody Pet Incorporated. Thanks again Beeps, Lucky, Nick, and Mike for these awesome goodies. This says, hi Lucky, not sure if this is being shipped separately. Hope the cats get a kick out of it from Lisa Hart. Okay, it looks like these are some kind of toys. Or do I open this last? I don't know. Oh, check this out. Look, these are kitchen towels. And do you guys see that? Look, it's a black cat and it says boo. How cute is that? That's awesome. So there's one black towel and then there's one orange towel with the cat on it, I'm assuming. Is there a cat? Because usually with the towel sets, um, there's usually just one with the print. Yeah, I don't see a print on the other one. That is so cool. This is the Natural Pet Company. It doesn't say anything. I'm going to have to open it. Okay, what's in here? Check this out. It is a wand toy with a quality wood wand, which is great. And then it has these mice. These are really nice mice. And then there's this mouth. Look, Boo's already looking. I don't know if you guys could see Boo. But these are gorgeous. 
And then there's this toy. I don't know if this hooks on the wand. And then there's this toy. Okay, Boo, you can't play with them now. There's this toy. Oh, these are awesome. There's this toy. These are individual toys. And there's this toy. Oh, they're so cute. They look like cat candies. Like candies for cat. Nope. We're not playing right now, boo. We're opening. Look at this. So basically, it's this set. Look how cute that set is. That is such a nice set of cat toys. And these, they, they just feel like they're going to last. Like they're made really, really well. So, um, that's great. Thank you, Lisa. Now I guess, I guess these are cat toys? I'm really not sure what these are or what you do with them. I guess the cats just play with them. But if anybody knows, let me know. I don't even know what the name of these would be. It says Sun Grow Three Piece Rope Ball for Cats. Oh yeah, Boo already likes it. But you guys can't see because the camera's on a tripod and he's behind me. But Boo's enjoying this. Boo loves it. You like that? Okay, boo, let's finish opening. Thank you again, Lisa, for everything. That's awesome. Okay, this box is heavy. It says, hi, Lucky Ferals. Merry Christmas from Lisa McGovern, Sheba, and Muffy. Well, thank you, Lisa McGovern, Sheba, and Muffy. Merry Christmas to you also. This is two cases of the Nature's Variety Pride cat food. This is Champ's Chicken Formula, and uh, this is what I've been feeding to Hydrox, and I'm so happy to have two more cases of it because uh, I'm all out, and... Um, this is great. This just makes it so convenient just to have this stockpile on hand and um, to know he has plenty of food. Thank you again, uh, Lisa, Sheba, and Muffy. This is really helpful. It says, hey LF, just wanted to wish Merry Christmas for you and your cats. Hope the cats enjoy their toys. Also, I'm sending you a book which Lee recommended and certain drops to try for your cats. I'm really curious. Lucas A. and Katutis. Lucas, was the book about the cat doctor from you? If it was, that was really cool. Oh, this is, whoa, this is one of those um this is one of those fishing pole wands with some of these like awesome feather toys on it and like look at this Stella's gonna go crazy over this Boo's gonna go crazy over this this is really really cool look he's already he's already he heard his name and he's already looking sorry boo I'm not playing with that right now I'm putting everything away, but you're going to enjoy playing with it, right? Yeah, you love feather toys. That's his favorite. Stella loves wormy toys, and Boo loves the feather toys. Right? <laughs> We're not playing right now, Boo. We're opening packages, okay? Okay, I'm sorry, you wanna play with one? Here, you wanna play with this one? The little one? 
Want to play with that? See, with Boo, they don't even need to be on the, like, wand toy. He just likes playing with them just like that. Okay, I'm putting them, I'm putting them aside because we have like this to open. Boo. Okay, I'm gonna open that. I'm gonna open it. Would you like to open it? No, he's afraid of it. We have some Kong Naturals. Look at this. Boo loves these toys. Now Boo had um, one or two of these toys when he was living outside over the summer. I don't know if you guys remember this, but these were the toys. It was. They might have been slightly different, but they had the uh, they had the like uh, mouse or bird, and then they had the feathers on the end, and he loved them. Like right now, I can't get that away from him. And they have catnip in them. And there's four of them, so that's awesome. So that's one for Stella, Splash, Simba, and Boo. Okay, Boo? Come on, Boo. We're going to put these aside right now. We're not playing with them right now. We're going to put... Oh, my God. He just picked up the whole thing and walked off with it. Okay, we'll do one more large one, and then we are done for the night. Uh, because I was up early today and I'm tired. This is Lucky Ferals. that out. You guys see that? It's like a three-dimensional card. Oh my god, that is so cool. And it stands up. You see that? It's a three-dimensional snow globe. That is so cute. It's a season's greetings. Dear Lucky Ferals, thank you for all you do. I really enjoy watching your videos. Stella, Simba, Splash, Boo, and Hydrox always make me smile. Have a beautiful holiday. Warmest regards. Karen, Oppenberg, Chloe, and Lucky. Well, thank you so much, Karen, Chloe, and Lucky. What's in the boxes? Oh, it's a mug. It says, Today I will be happier than a kitty in a box. Oh my gosh, it looks like Boo. Look. That's cute. That is so cute. This says, I am a fur covered can opening, per causing catnip offering, litter box changing, meow speaking lap providing cat lover. And then it has Lots of little paw prints around the inside of the mug. These are big mugs, too. That's really, really cool. Especially for the winter, I love a big mug of tea or hot cocoa. Wow, this says... This one says, advice from the cat. Focus on the cans, not the cans. Stay curious, pounce on opportunities, think outside the box. This looks like Boo again. When you find sunshine, bask in it. And then inside it says, make today perfect. What a cute set of mugs this is. It says catfinated. That looks like Hydrox, doesn't it? And then it says decatfed. So cute. And I like the purple too. It's like the Lucky Ferrell's color. And then there's lots of paws inside. Really cute. 
Thank you so much for these mugs. They are adorable. And they will definitely be put to use this winter. I'll be drinking lots of delicious hot beverages out of these mugs. So thank you again.